Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Uh, can you hear me here? Yes, sir. Cool. Our video is, hold on. Oh, there we go. What's up, peeps? Appreciate y'all pulling up tonight. Last night of the week, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Bam, 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 What up, though? What's Yo. poppin', my boy? That's good, T Money. Hey, man, just just chilling, brother. When you gonna send them shoes yeah. back, back, though? When can I get my shoes back? Which ones you talking about, my boy? Oh, man, the shoes with the guitar, man. I'm a lit, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man, you know. You 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 got to step on bugs in the pyramid. No, those are some some fancy <laughs> duds. I said these are some these are amazing. They were nice, man. Really nice, man. Shout out to LFLS Shoe Company, Black owned Shoe Company. You know what I'm saying? Say word. Got to step on bugs. Yeah, man. No, those are some nice. 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 Let's have a good time tonight, man. We're gonna be chilling. You know what I mean? How you feeling, bro? Yeah. I'm tired, bro. We um I literally I got cut from set at six, about six fifteen, six seventeen, and came back to the valley. Literally had enough time uh to run upstairs, use the restroom, and then come in and, and, and get started, bro. So I've been I've been running all day. Am I am I tripping or are we busier now? Bro, I am so much Man. busier now. Ah, Kenan, I'm, I'm like, to. bro. Yeah. So I was I'm a, I'm, a, I'm shocked at how busy I'm shocked at how busy that I am because I was nervous about all this stuff. Like I'm sure mm -hmm. most of us was. I was just like, Man, money's actually still coming in. I appreciate all opportunities. Man, bro. You doing juice fast right now? What you, what you got over there? It look like some pressed. This is water. Is your, your water green, bro. <laughs> it's, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just water. Your water's green. Nah. He said, nah. you said to here, you see how he said nah, but didn't show us. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Drink your pond water, man. Go and drink your, your amphibian water. Hey, man. You know. I... I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to live, BT. You out here eating salads and hot dogs all in one. I mean, listen, that's, that's no carbs. Hard. Chop a hot dog over a salad actually don't sound like a bad idea. I ain't gonna even hold you. That's hey, horrible, I, I, would, I wouldn't recommend that. Don't you chop up no hot dogs over what nobody's salad. What if it's a vegan hot dog? What if I take a vegan dog? Still, still. A vegan that's hot terrible. dog over a salad? That's kind of lit. Y'all take vegan burgers uh, and ground them up? Nah. nah. Oh, okay. Young Bell. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. No. To here, I almost didn't see you. You blended in too much with something. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, y'all? Hey, man. Well, hey, I, I came in on vegan burgers or salads or something. I don't know what I was Vegan hot dogs. Vegan hot dogs over a salad. That's uh, Keenan just cooked. He says, he said, he says, I dare you didn't cook that. That's what you said. You said vegan chili cheese. <laughs> look at wow. look at look at the way BT looks and built. Right, that's a BT thing. That is not a, <laughs> <laughs> a Keenan thing. No, it's only because I'm slouchy. If I sit up, then it's like yeah. I Wait, so you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> a slouch doesn't mess up how you put it. This is a big shirt. <laughs> No, I do not know what inspired this great streak, but I appreciate it. Man, you know what? If I'm gonna be real honest, uh, I've seen uh, uh, the Temptations like six times uh, since since March. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember that nigga uh, Flynn? They were mm -hmm. <laughs> And I was like, if I gotta wear a mask, you're gonna need to see, you're gonna need to know who I am before I get, I don't want these mixed up. So I was like, you know what? How can I identify myself without getting a tattoo on my forehead? 
There it is. I appreciate it. Uh, or dress like to hear. That, that's why it was. It was one of the. Do other. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm over here just minding my black business. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just minding my business. Baby. You want to say hello? Hey. You want to say hello? Yes. Oh, that's my mom. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? <laughs> That's a black mother right there. That's a my black hair. mom right there. My mom's like, mom, you want to say hello? No, my hair's not done. You know what's funny is that's how long your mom's been around what? you being in entertainment. Y'all not going to be calling me Candace Owens. She's talking about y'all ain't going to be calling me Candace Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I see why your mom's your best friend, bro. She is hilarious. Bro, she's so funny, man. She's yeah, so that, funny. That's fun. It's super, it's super funny how how savvy she is to you being in the internet space or like online or in entertainment. Cause she was like, no, no, no. I know what's going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> that means that means she's in tune with the social media and just in general. Like mm -hmm. she, she's like, no, y'all be, they be out here killing people like that. Nah, I ain't about to be dragged. Mm -hmm. nah. uh, she, she, me me she told me earlier, I know these fools you're doing this show with tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> these fools. <laughs> That's how older people talk. Nah, nah, I don't play with them. I don't play with no, other people. Yeah, I don't so. play with these, these jokers yeah, out here. They, these jokers be doing too much. You can't, you can't bring that boy over there. He eat too much. Now, I can't be feeding it. Now, I ain't going to be able to do yeah, it. Yeah. He, ain't like, he ain't got no home train. His parents don't feed him at home. No home train. That's what you hear a lot. Hey, hey, no, he ain't got no home train. Keith ain't got no home train. Don't oh, be blinding him over here. Oh, man, we're going to go ahead and get started. I know Tony's going to be late because he was on set. With me and Kev's gonna be a little late because he was on set to me. He got to drive an hour to get home, and Tony went did his OTF right at the out of, at the cast. So they're gonna be a little late, but we still got OTF. A lot of he got an OnlyFans. Tony got an OnlyFans. No, nope, not even that. Um, Only Tony fans. Only Tony fans. That's what I heard. <laughs> nah, so they're gonna be they're gonna be pulling up in a minute. And then we got we got a couple more people pulling up. It's gonna be a good show though. I don't. He getting scolded. Who getting scolded? Y'all oh, watching the debate? Now I don't have it. I don't have it on. I watched the first one was amazing. It was a great. Uh -huh. It was a great. Uh, it was great. I'm sure. I'm sure it's hilarious again right now. I watch my debates through a filter. <laughs> I'm gonna watch what? through a filter through a, 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 a. I'm gonna go watch what Trevor Noah said. I'm gonna go watch what Jimmy Fallon said. It's like if I feel like something was interesting, I'll go back and watch the whole thing, but I don't. Okay. I don't, I the funny, the funniest sound about to be on there. I made it. Woo. What's Come up, on, but oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. She all right? Then froze up already. You ma made uh -oh. it. We made it and lost it. Oh, we lost oh, Tone too? My shit. Oh, yeah, Tone froze up too. I can like hear your Tone background though. BT stupid. I see you blinking. Am I pausing? <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of choppy right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Tone is completely froze up though. I'm sure they'll be back in a minute though. Uh, tone, uh... okay. okay, you look better now. Oh well. Is it better now? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> it's like what the fuck is going on around? Oh, right, did you start? Yeah, it's good though. You cuz Oh, here. Kevin's not here, so I can cut. I mean, yeah, shaking my keys ah. faster. Like, ah, oh, sorry, Mr. Kevs. I won't use that language and throw these titties around here. Feels that way around Kev. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get it started, man. Welcome to another episode. Of you guys know this is like my oh, date night. Like, I feel like I'm on a date with all of you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's like the baby. I'm so happy. <laughs> This is the Keep Your Distance comedy show takeover, man. Uh, everybody gonna see on tonight's show will be on tomorrow's show. So if you want to see them live, or uh, somewhat live, virtually live, doing their thing, you need to go ahead and cop your ticket right now. You can cop your ticket. Yeah. Uh, dot com, and you got a number of, of, of promos to use from. Everybody got their own promo. Or y'all can use Mobsters, that's my promo. I ain't never on the show, but I always got a promo for y'all. Y'all know me, I hook it up. Uh, Kanisha froze up again, but we're going to get her back as soon as she's ready. But we're going to go ahead and jump <laughs> right into these young intros. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first and foremost, man, we're going to get it cracking with my homeboy, man. He's the uh, bald head phenom. The beard is flourishing over there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, has a, a You're welcome. Podcast. You're welcome, Keenan. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing podcast called Animation 
Um, very funny comedian. Uh, you can check him out on uh, Tony Baker and Friends. Uh, the, the special is out right now. You can check that out on Amazon Prime and uh, a couple other. You guys on Peacock too? Uh, I don't know if it's on Peacock. I know it's just on a Gumroad and uh, Amazon Prime. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can check that out. You can rent it or purchase it. I think the purchase is like five hundred dollars. So you might as well hold on to it. That's what I did. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing comedian, writer, producer, podcast host. Make some noise, my homeboy Keenan Baker. Yo, what up, man? A- AKA Black Planet Hazel Eye Jigger, AKA Corpio for Life G on Black Planet. <laughs> And Tone Bell, man, he always, every time he see me, he see me with the beard now, he be like, you're welcome. Because I used to go to Tone, man, I'm like, how do I do it, dog? How do I get the beard? What do you, what do you put in there? You know what? I appreciate that because, because, because you didn't get out here with a beard to act like you didn't have some influence. So I do, I, <laughs> I do appreciate that. Keenan would ask, Keenan would ask, and you, I give him some tips. And then look, look at your face. Look at your face. Tone, look at your face. Look, you look, 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 look at yourself below the nose down now. You different. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna text you later, Tom, for those tips because mine's a flourish, but it won't get full like Keenan's. Like I need that full beard, bro. Hey man, well, you know we got hey, it's got to be a conversation. We got to talk texture. We got to talk about care. <laughs> okay, well you know what? I bring a bottle of whiskey. We'll get it going. We get it. You know what's funny uh, to hear is I hit him up and he ain't have no dark skin beard tips. He was like, "Nah, y'all good." It's like, I ain't got nothing for them dark beers, bro. You good. Y'all, man. y'all winning already, man. We need help. You good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, so you've been bearded out for a minute. Man, who I only I, I only been bald face make like once one year in the last 10. So hey man, you know, I got you know, I, I just trimmed it the other day. I, I'm I'm just I'm letting it, I'm letting it uh, it's, I just got the shower. So you know it shrivels up when you get in the shower, I gotta let it let it dry out. So That's what I heard. So I get so I <laughs> All right, uh, uh, introduce. Uh, <laughs> who uh, who got their TV on? Can somebody turn their TV down just a little bit? That's my, that's my, that's my mom watching the debate. That's, I'm trying oh, to get okay. her to do it. I've been trying to tell her. You know, she don't, she don't hear well either, so I'm trying. Not, ain't you can do hey, Val. I'm just going to have to deal with that. Val. Val. <laughs> he called me Kanisha. I'm going to knock her head off her body. <laughs> mom. Thank you. Mom. Show respect for the mothers in here. <laughs> he turned into Stewie. He came. Stewie Griffin. Mom. I get it. Mom. It's all good. We'll, we'll figure it out. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, no stranger to the show, man. Uh, when I first started, he's one of the people that came on every week and uh, kicked it with me, man. Uh, also goes by many names. One of them is Vincent Dracula Jones. Uh, uh, you got the Tuskegee Project out right now. Uh, the Do Rag Phenom as well. Um, <laughs> from 16 different places. I don't know which one is first. But ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for content creator, writer, producer, director, comedian, and actor, Mr. B. T. Kings. Hey, what up, dude? What up, dude, man? Hey, man, first of all, man, uh, I love you, brothers. Uh, And Bush, you know I love you. I miss y'all. I am very excited about tomorrow. Uh, It's been a, this has been an active week. We get Zooming with the homies and keep your distance. I am a happy, happy person. Happy, happy person. Uh yes. For those of you in the chat that have not seen me do stand up tomorrow, uh you got a, y'all got a hell of a show lined up for y'all. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's going to be a hell of a show. Uh next up, ladies and gentlemen. Um she needs no introduction. She's funny as hell. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen her on a lot of ADD con- content. Uh seen her on Squadcast. You seen her on here on Zoom with the homies. Uh, you may have seen her breasts on their own uh, OnlyFans page because uh, they have something completely separate from what she got going on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I want y'all to make some noise for the mother, comedian, actor, writer, producer, Miss Kanisha, bus in the building. Bus there, bus. What up, uh-huh. bus? What up, bus? Yeah. You know, I this is my date night. I don't get to go out. He took the baby. I don't want to see him or the baby. You know, right now I'm single until they get back. As I'm living. <laughs> hey, I'm having a great time. Single. Yeah, look at Jay. Jay zoomed Fuck in. the baby. Yeah, fuck the Jay. man. That's right. <laughs> Damn right I zoomed in. <laughs> Jay was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> got this top too, but it's nowhere to wear it. I'm like, I'm wearing this shit for zooming with the homies. I went and got a top just for you. You know, I don't have no bottoms on, but my tops is just for y'all. It is. You like, we hood, appreciate you like a hood geisha right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're super, super excited to have you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, moving on. Um, somebody else that needs no uh, introduction since the sister's first time coming on, he's been a crowd favorite. Especially with the ladies, they always ask, "Hey, when's Tom Bell coming back? When's oh. Tom Bell oh, that wasn't coming me? back?" I was like, <laughs> I, "I thought you were talking about me." My bad. I'll, 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 I'll wait for Jay to get, get get the intro too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me be humble for a second. Go um, ahead, Jay. You let can see him on 47 different projects that have all come out within the last two years. Um, you know, movies, shows. Uh, Netflix shows, he, he's done it all. They've all ended, but he got the check and that's all that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, he also has the credits and the SAG. Uh, <laughs> to, many to series, to hear we've been over this, many series. Hey, many series, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has more lifetime mini series than this brother right here. And he's an amazing comedian, <laughs> fantastic actor, writer, producer, all of that, ladies and gentlemen, one of the coolest people I've ever heard or met in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, Mr. Tom Bill in the building. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be with my friends right now. I love everybody on here. And uh, Jay, is amazing to see you, brother. So like, uh, go ahead and introduce Jay. I don't need no more to hear. I, I'm wait, 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 Tom, did you say miniseries? Yeah, yeah. I, thought I, told, I thought I'd keep miniseries myself. That was, yeah, that was a job like a little shoulder pop. That was a little pop right there. Right, they, Niggas they, they gonna be booking on, miniseries. They, 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 they book a show or something, but a series? <laughs> people, people be like, y'all didn't do more than 10? I'd be like, we was only supposed to do 10. You get your facts wrong. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news out here. We, we stopped on, in the middle of season two on purpose. That's how it was supposed to go. That's how it goes. Our 17 that episodes. Like, Everybody so knows we that. We want you to complete a hit cliffhanger. We just, we just leave you forever. Creative integrity. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> a very funny comedian, uh, like a big brother to a lot of us out here, man. He's yeah. always so loved, always embracing new current uh, trends and, 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 and always like, adjusted beautifully. Um, he has a couple podcasts out, but one of his shows is What You Think. It's a live stream show. You can catch that on his YouTube channel. Uh, but above all, a fantastic and amazing comedian. Uh, storyteller a and storyteller. Story oh, man, man. Don't, don't even get me started on the storytelling. Ooh, yes. um, you can catch him on Ooh. D.L. Hughley's show as well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he really needs no, no more of an introduction. Um, amazing comedian, writer, father, husband, producer, uh, director, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jay Phillips in the building. What's going I forgot on? Got all that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own horns, nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, Jay got that nice crib, bro. I went out to Jay's crib. I, he out, he had to put me to the side. Like, hey, man, you been there for a couple hours. You ready to? Uh, ready to <laughs> I, had, I had to walk him by his elbow towards the front foyer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I ain't get to swim yet, man. He's like, brother, you came over here to write. I was like, yeah, you right, you right, but the pool, though, the pool. Uh, I know where Jay lived, but I ain't never got invited. Oh, man. The what? I'm going to got invited. Be quiet on that. Be quiet on that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. that I, never been invited. I know, I know, I know the area, that. but I don't know the address. <laughs> well, we'll fix that. My birthday this weekend, uh, well, my birthday next week, I'm gonna have a, a a very minute small gathering at the house. I love minute shit. I'm there. <laughs> Good. Well, then all y'all coming in if y'all want to. There it is. Oh, ain't nothing about. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just. I'm, gonna, I'm not even. I'm I know. Even, I know what you're gonna say, and I'm, I'm with dead. you. I believe I'm, in I'm it. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Go yeah. Say it then. Shit. No, 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 Jay. You know we ain't. Well, look, we ain't got. We 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 all on the same page. I know we on the same page, but somebody got to read the words. Ain't nothing my new about them titties. <laughs> Ain't you, BT Kingsley? <laughs> Golly. I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> that shit went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to lose, baby. I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> I, got, I got a pilot coming up in December. I can't say things like that right now. <laughs> can't well, risk listen, it, ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Zoom with the homies, man. I want to thank all my homies for pulling up tonight. We're going to have a fantastic show because we still got two more people that's going to pull up, two or three more people that's going to pull up tonight. Um, 
I want to uh, thank my guests for pulling up. And uh, if you guys want to bless them with a little something for taking time out of that evening, uh, the blessings with the company, the jokes, the entertainment, you guys can go ahead and bless them on the Cash App. And at this time, I'm going to ask all my guests to change their name to the Cash App right now. Kanisha already has hers, Kena and BT. Uh, Jay and Tony, if you guys want to uh, change it, go ahead and change it. Or you can right. change it to your, um, your promo for uh, tickets to uh, keep your distance. Uh, tomorrow, whatever your promo is, whatever you want to do, it's up to you, man. We just want to thank you for pulling up on us tonight. Um, we're gonna have a great time, man. BT, yes, talk sir. to me, baby. What's new with you, man? Man, it's funny, man. We were talking about the the busyness, man. It's been it's been active and aggressive as of late. I am super juiced about tomorrow because we ain't got to stand up, man, in front of people. Man, bro, bro. Stand up in front of people. It up. It made, wasn't it? Yeah, last show was uh for me and Bus was on together was the uh the show in at Nate's club is super funny and everything before they had to be the comedy union before that. It's like <laughs> bro, it's been a in front of people. I am I'm super dumb, dumb excited. Um, and we were talking about it a little bit, I think before we went live, man, just about like how busy it's been. Like auditions are, are back cracking. I got yeah, picking up. Yeah, it's, it's about that time. I'm like, okay, we out here. And that's you know, uh Tia, we've been having to make adjustments because you didn't adjust it to quarantine life. Then we out here creating our own avenues, everybody. It's like, yo, it's a it's a lot, man. I yeah, it's a lot right now, fam. It's ain't, a it lot. Dope, dope, ain't it dope watching everybody be like, oh, catch their lanes and everything, and yeah. just like and it still work together. That shit is fucking fire bro it's like man like i looked at the calendar and i was like all right i ain't did vincent dracula jones in a minute so like i gotta i'm gonna do a a halloween party for visit because it makes sense it's like vampire <laughs> dj what we talk about <laughs> it's like <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like all right so, yeah man it's just like finding finding your lane and and progress i'm i keep looking at my vision board i'm like not exactly but kind it's like it's morphed but it's kind of getting to where i was what I was looking for, what I was trying to get to. So I'm, I'm, I'm great, man. It's a, oddly yeah, enough, it's a, it's a weird, great time. All right, I'm doubling. We um, Pat and I are actually doing a karaoke um next Friday. Yes. Uh, and we I got, agree. Uh, we got we got Keisha E, we got Tony Baker, we have Precious, and we have CP. They're all performing. It's gonna be three rounds. We're gonna do '80s pop and rock, we're going to do 90s R&B, and then we're going to do hip hop. And we're going to we're going to have a good time doing it, man. It's going to be like, it's, it's it's crazy that we found this space, like you said, and just really just use it to the best of our abilities. But it's so dope to, like Tone said, see everybody find their groove, find their lane. Jay got a new show out, you know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. Everybody's like, everybody's finding their thing. Tone got a um, in crowd. If you haven't been to in crowd as a comic, man, you got to see this facility, man. It's really next to a live show. I, I, I can't, I can't wait thing. to have everybody to here's done. And I can't wait to have everybody else on. Like, I mean, you know, we in a good spot right now. We're going to be doing more shows. So like, man, I can't, I cannot wait. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. In crowd comedy uh, on Instagram. Just at in crowd comedy, man. It's dope. Jay got to have you over. Kenny got to have you over. KB got to have you over. Uh, 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 nigga, let's, everybody come on, man. BT, let's go, man. Everybody got to come through, man. This, Cause once you do it, you, like you you fall back and love. You want to go back. It, I, I I'm looking forward to going back because it's it's a lot of fun, man. And it's 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 not like the other virtual shows that I've done. Neither is Kev. That's one thing about Kev's Kev show. Yeah. You got a small audience. Tone, you've been there a couple of times. You've seen it, Kenny. You've seen it. Yeah. BT, I don't think you've been there yet. Oh no, um, I've been there. I just I couldn't, followed okay. here. I couldn't take it no more. I, I looked at the flyer and like uh, it, you know what it was. It was Wednesday night. It was your Wednesday night at the. I'm looking at the flyer. Uh, what did you? It's five niggas on the show I love. I'm going. Bruh. I, BT, BT, I'm going to put on a mask. They're going to have to kick me out. <laughs> BT, I'm, I'm so glad you said that because, I, you know, and I love Kev. I love, we all love Kev. All of us love Kev. But as many times I've seen that flyer, I was like, I mean. Oh, I had to run about Kev for sure. <laughs> I was like. I don't need to be on the show like that. Town. I'm coming to kick Excuse it, bro. Me. You're from the town, nigga. Where is the hometown? I was like, yeah, that show was hella popping. He was like, oh, let me get you a date 20 years from now. I'm like, yeah, write me in. When Kev, when Kev, when Kev text me, it felt like he hit, hit me with a you up. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, but I was like, I've been watching these motherfuckers for months, and now you're going, you up? Uh, Man, well, first of all, yeah. I'd love to get up, but like, you know. <laughs> 
I wouldn't even you have but to I uncross even, your legs and fix your lapels <laughs> before you spoke. Like I, I'm not sure. I'm if I'm ready. Let me let me reattain my masculinity to have this conversation because I was feeling like. <laughs> Listen. You know, but it, it wasn't just, it wasn't like, yes, I, I want to get up. I'm excited about doing the show tomorrow. But it was just being, dog, not only can we not do comedy, we ain't around it. Yeah. Like, 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 so when, so we do the show in May, right? So every, at, remember, now Buster tell you, Thursday, we super safe. We do the show Thursday, packed crowd. We come downstairs out of the green room, do the show. We go right back up to the green room. Don't touch me, niggas. I don't want that COVID, right? Yeah, no, no, but keep going. Stay, two, two shakes. Stand, first stand in the club. Third, uh, Friday, we do it again. When we do the show, we do the set, and then we just run back up. Let me tell you something. By that late show Friday, I was like, I miss the people. I think it, <laughs> I'm going to go out to catch you, fam. Because the interaction and like us losing the social interaction, it's a lot, fam. It's a, it's a lot Yo, to take but, on. But I mean, like, it, it don't, like, people really don't know how good it feels. Like, because I mean, no matter what you're doing, if you're doing a hot 7, 10, 25, 45 an hour. If you, if you, any kind of time when that set go how you want it to go, and then you want that pat on the back, bro. Like you got, like you gotta. You, my rule's always been: I need three people to be like, "Yo, man, love, like, yo, you was fired tonight. You was killing." Mm. Like, and you get that little moment. You, you lock eyes with somebody. It's like, "Yo, man, we, I really had appreciated it. Me and my girl loved it. You know, whatever. You need that shit. It feels yeah. amazing. Yeah, man. You know, you, you know, your job was done at that point. Yeah. Yeah. It is. COVID comedy is like sex with a condom, yo. Like, I was just putting my mask on and running back upstairs. I want to feel y'all. I want some hugs and I want some and some <laughs> hey, I, wanna, I've been, I, I guess I've been lucky, man. I've been able to get back out. Um, <clears throat> last couple of weeks, I've been able to get out. Not <laughs> shit. Jay, Jay, let me tell you something. You can't say you got back out and, and start coughing. <laughs> right at the end. He's smoking a blunt right now. He's smoking a blunt. Oh, he's smoking. He's smoking. He's smoking a blunt. Touche. Yeah, nigga. Cause Cause COVID, COVID kill coughing. You can't just cough for no I'm reason. I'm good, bro. Uh, <laughs> I got CBD and everything. And this hey, yeah, okay. I'm super I safe. I forgot you was rolled up. That's yeah. I'm just saying. I've been back out lately, man. Um, so it's 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 still weird. But the, the messed up part about it is I'm I'm not going out like like headlining like I used to go. Like I go out and rock with on DL show, which mm. is still dope because I'm a junkie. I feel like I still gotta go and yeah. doing six shows in the weekend is still doing six shows in the weekend. Absolutely. Um they just don't I mean every everybody that's used to doing theaters is coming back and snatching up those nine or ten little spots that's doing yeah. all of the, the weekend dates. So it's like Mm -hmm. I'm squeezed out until the beginning of the year. I'm getting, I'm starting to get them trickled through here and there. But yeah. other than that, it's like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm fainting. So I, I, I'm just rolling with DL. I'll go be a special guest host for a little while. Let's do that shit. Right. Right. Like that's, that's like, that's what, that's, I've been entertaining that too, bro. Cause like, I mean, I've, I've done, I've done one full weekend and I got out the same way. It's like, man, at this point, somebody like, hey, Tony, you want to come do 30? I'd be like, bro, I'm out. Hell yeah. I'll break, let me break even. Mm -hmm. Basically. Nigga, I'm out here selling merch. <laughs> Word. <laughs> what you sell? Hand sanitizer? Uh, that's next week. Okay. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm selling masks, though. I am Duh. selling masks. I just Why ordered Tony some masks. Like Why, Why I just Tony ordered some like masks to come in. Tony's always disappointed. It's just, I've, I've been with him on set for the past two days, and he's just, a, he's just an angry ass old man. Uh, Anytime I see Tony get on here, like I've been on, this, I've been on here with Tony maybe three times at this point. When Tony get on, I, if it looked like he got three screens up, because <laughs> Tony started like this, and he'll look over here, and then he'll look. I'm like, this motherfucker that, has, a, has an Intel that's setup. The, cat. the cats be doing stuff all on the sides, and Tony be like, he just he give them a look like a parent, like, hey, hey, fuck that. Yeah. That, Tony that, watching that, the that, debate that, and the football that, game. That's what that, that is. That's what it is. If you look to the side, though, if Tony ever panned the camera, you'll see Daps over there like this. <laughs> <laughs> Tony be enjoying that group chat a lot more. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. He be going in on the group chat. I'm I'm looking because I feel like I'm in the time machine because Tony looked totally different because he cut back. He went back to, what's this? It's 2016 Tone face? And he shaved, he face. shaved out his underground beard. Yeah, man. <laughs> He don't want to put the work in, man. I keep having a discussion. I'm like, yo, Tone, just let it go. This, it's, you're gonna to have to go through the ugly stage. I couldn't I do it, it dog. Ugh. 
I couldn't do it. I keep, I got about to where you were and I couldn't take it. I had a, I had a, I had a goddamn uh, photo shoot or something to go through and I couldn't get it together. I was like, you know what? Chop it, nigga. Let's take it off. Let's get it down to manageable. Let's do that. And then we'll try that shit again when I ain't got nothing else to do. Nigga, my Bro, COVID beard was nice for a minute, but it just looked scrappy as fuck. People don't know my whole right side of comb over. That, that's a little known secret. That's coming out on Zoom with the homies right now. I, I never before said it. Never before said it. Left side, left side be amazing. This right side, this whole little side, that's a, that's a comb over right there. I got that's, that's coming from the sideburn down. <laughs> like, yeah. I let this get, and then this get, and I just, I just like twist it up and then just pat it in. Oh, that, yeah, that, 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 that little squirt of topics trip. ain't going to fix. The swoop swoop. That's one of the, that was actually one of the beer tips that Tom gave me. He said, man, you got to keep brushing. And I have I have mutton chops for like six months, just mutton chops, looking like an idiot out here. Then you I said you gotta keep the, brushing. We let you do it. We let you do it because we knew you. We knew what your goal was. <laughs> oh, we we get to talking beards. He pull up. He pull up luscious paws. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Kevin straightened his. Kevin hot combed his beard. <laughs> nah, he got. Oh, how he got you be on here? Products. That's the products. Come on, man. Tom been on here, but he ain't saying one word. Tom been on here five minutes, ain't saying one word. He all been talking. Everybody been talking. <laughs> I was just like, I've been in the comment section, though. I said it, that. That's what I ain't been. I, I ain't seen them typing, though. How you been in the comments and I ain't seen them typing? You got you got sneaky wrists. <laughs> <laughs> Tom want me out here like this. I want you to catch. Here go, here go, here go, here go, here go Tony typing. <laughs> no, I'm here, guys. <laughs> you don't see no movement of the shoulders or nothing. I, I don't have to look at the keyboard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't don't I hear a stenographer. <laughs> <laughs> look at Sabrina talking about she need to hear Kev and Tony to rest. First of all, Tony don't be resting ever. Tony always on his phone, and he never rests. Bro, what? Tony don't ever rest. Tony, Tony will sit there. He'll drive in a car. No, he needs sleep. I'll be like, yo, Tony, I'll take over. No, nah, I'm good. Uh, and he'll just fall asleep at the wheel. He don't give a shit. He will put your life at risk and not care. He'll be like, nah, it's my car. I'm driving. That's old news, Keenan. I'm over. Oh, I it? ran off that. Mm. You were always bringing up the time I almost killed you. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I always that. bring, Always, always <laughs> talk about your homicide. Man, they, he always talking about murder it, movies we, about we that all the time. On. About the time somebody almost killed me. Yeah, man. How many times we gonna come back to this, man? That was years ago. It was. Yeah, so like you alive, ain't you? Yeah, you said. <laughs> did you die? Did you, you die? die. I did. Did, did you get? Yeah. But did you die? What is that? Oh, uh, Chappelle. <laughs> the Chappelle show when he has uh, when he's Rick James. That was years ago, motherfucker. Yeah, that was weeks <laughs> ago, motherfucker. I'm partying. That was tonight. No, oh, I almost oh, killed you tonight. <laughs> Chaz, the one I almost killed you, Kenny. You need to focus on that. Yeah, he did almost kill me. Yeah, that was a real accident. And then he, and then he laughed when he almost killed me. Yeah, man. I, I would never laugh at almost killing you, man. <laughs> you know who can't drive, though? You know who can't drive? We used to be on tour, and we were like, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Kevin Fredericks cannot drive to save it. And he got the nerve to go out and get a Maserati. And you I was know about to say, I feel like his insurance note just went up quite a bit. Kevin oh, drives yeah. like rigs from Lethal Weapon. For no reason. <laughs> like, why are you driving like Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon 3? Ain't nobody chasing us. Listen, Kel drive like he always just dropped the blunt on the floor. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like it was in his lap. Just like, oh, it's in my lap. You, crazy, drive, you drive fast or you drive slow? And I do everything wrong. Fast, out of the lanes. Uh, <laughs> the Maserati, I didn't know this. If you drift into another lane, it'll correct itself and put you back in the middle. It better do I, that for all that money. It better correct itself. It better do my taxes. It better walk the dog. It better call all my exes and be like, don't call here no more. Tony's driving a 2003 Lancer that every time he turns it on, it got to put a new port out. He's like, oh, we, go, we going somewhere today. My bad. All right, let, me just, let me just get out the way. <laughs> No, new car, Tony. You deserve yeah. it, man. Yeah, if he'll be, he you know, he be doing. He'll do like a major show. He and take that, take it on the road. He be having to put these heavy ass bags of money in the back of his truck. Like, oh man, I gotta drive this man. <laughs> yeah. Tony's car has a felony on his record. 
Not Tony, just the car. The car can't vote, it can't own the gun or nothing. He still won't get rid of him. I'm like, let what, it go. What is, is a, uh, what is a what is a Lancer? You ever seen Fast and the Furious? I have. It ain't you on there. Played, you ever played yeah. Grand Turismo? In that movie. Grand Turismo, the Lancers was cracking, man. But what is it? It's a car. It's a Mitsubishi car, car tone. Oh, from it's a Mitsubishi. Fast okay, I was asking for the. I was it's asking for the, the make. It used to oh, you be about the make of it. The the make. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out who made it. Yeah. I know I've seen it. I just know nobody who made it. makes it anymore. Tone Mitsubishi, like, bro, why do you still have this? We got you know what? other new cars. <laughs> you know what, Kev? You know what, Kev? When I when I when I, when I saw you get Demise right, I was very one. I was proud. I was like, yes, yeah, so, like somebody I, somebody I know know. I got their number. Got one right. That was very dope. proud. But also at the same time. Like three years ago, I didn't know I didn't know about a Maserati SUV. So I looked it up. I, I saw one next to me on the four or five. I googled it. Do you know the the um, the, the the slogan for Maserati SUV? Mm -mm. The Maserati SUV is the Maserati of SUVs. They use their own name <laughs> in the title to promote themselves. And I'm bullshit you not. Google it right now. If you if you listen, you think Maserati I'm Google it right SUV. Now. <laughs> The Maserati That's hilarious. is the Maserati SUV. Very impressive. I think Maserati would use itself in third person. Oh, love it. I love it. <laughs> I have yeah. to freaking come I've been on holding off on the car forever. I don't even know how to use this. Hmm. Hey, what? Tanisha is so non tech savvy, man. Hey, my computer all of a sudden, I think the baby was pressing buttons, and now it just keeps saying, preparing windows because I turned it off. So I'm trying to speak on my freaking phone. And I you got you to have an Android computer. computer a breast keep hitting the space bar and turning the goddamn <laughs> video <laughs> off. <laughs> but Tina keep hitting escape. <laughs> yeah. Yo, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Tanisha came in here dressed like T-Hawk from Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is hilarious, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. It really says the Maserati of SUV. I told you that was not bullshit. <laughs> the arrogance. Yeah. The the arrogance. How clean it is, though, to hear. Oh, it's a nice, it's a very nice video. Kevin, it's a 2020. 2020, baby. We see it clear. Ooh. We see it clear. Wow. <laughs> Kev, did you consider the uh the Tesla? And I did, but I didn't want to um, uh, be like plugging my car in and stuff. It's like having a phone charger and all that. I don't need that Absolutely. much. Absolutely, I don't want to. Yeah, my phone is never charged. It'll be an emergency. I'd be like, "We dead. Well, I can't even get us out of here." <laughs> yeah, I just. And then I had heard uh, this dude had a Tesla, and um, it has one feature where if something happens, it'll lock the doors, and you can't get out. And his son had asthma, and he was stuck inside there. And I was like, yeah, "I don't really need that." Oh, hell, wow. Wow, yeah, I didn't I, hear that. There ain't no doorknobs on it either. The dealership. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, they, I know they uh, like if you take a road trip in a Tesla, the amount of times you got to plug up is like, oh, well, it depends on how far you go. Though. If, if I'm driving to the bay, which is five yeah. and a half hours, 300 miles, you got to stop twice. Yeah, you well, no, 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 no. you got to stop one time. It's got a 250, they got a 250 mile Tesla. So you only got to stop. Yeah. Math is terrible. <laughs> I don't like stopping. Anisha, are you dipping a popsicle in alcohol? You never had a liquor pop? What the hell? It's hot. You guys never did I, a liquor pop? I don't know, but your uh, OnlyFans page is about to get popping. You eat that whole goddamn. Uh... <laughs> And that's why I'm not doing it like that. I'm covering it up. Yeah, you can take, take a seven of us over here. Alcohol and dripping that bitch. That, come on, baby. You, <laughs> ain't nobody going to listen to nothing nobody else saying. See? Anisha, you got to stop putting alcohol in the baby's spaghetti -o bowl. That baby no, when, we, that. when I had the baby, I packed up my bar and the shot glasses went. So this is all I have when I drink are baby bowls. But you didn't have time first to buy all, more cups. First of all, these titties in this popsicle made us forget about these technical difficulties completely. <laughs> no. First of all, I'm being respectful and hiding eating the pop because Rev Kev is on, so making sure Rev I don't look crazy. Kev? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm being respectful, and but I really wanted a liquor pop, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Rev Kev is on. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with admiring the Lord's work. 
<laughs> so the, hair, the hair looked like GI Sloppy Joe. <laughs> hey, y'all remember when GI Joe used to throw the uh, knowing it's half the battle in on the episodes where it didn't make no sense? You're like, all right, guys, y'all didn't really teach us nothing today, man. Don't throw it in. <laughs> uh, ain't nothing happened but snake eyes had a fight annoying it's half the battle <laughs> y'all start forcing it on season three it ain't nothing really happened with the moral wasn't no really no more of a story oh snap man hey Kev is one of the coolest dudes but everybody still look at him like like the big brother that you can't do nothing in front of Kev I don't <laughs> I just met Kev. I'm still, I'm still me in front of Kev. I don't give a fuck what I say to Kev. I love Kev. <laughs> I came in as a fan. I, I, I like, he wants to change me in two years, crazy. but we good for right now. <laughs> I came. Hey, in the more we get to know each other, the better I might get. But for now, I'm still gonna be reckless as me. He's my little for like fifteen, like 15 years. She ain't, she ain't changed. <laughs> He's a little brother. Listen, Kanisha said, you see, she said she being respectful how she eating the popsicle because Rev Kev on here. Yeah, but, but it's still little brother though, you know. To yeah. hear, nah, you know what's funny? She's eating the popsicle respectful, but we can still hear the slurping. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, eat the popsicle. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, get some more. Not to make no noises. That's no. your magic. I still see your head moving. I know you hiding your face, but all I do is <laughs> <laughs> I'm being respectful. Nobody eats a popsicle like that. <laughs> Was it, but do you do a liquor pop? Because you gotta smoke it in the liquor and uh, get the liquor off, and okay. it's cold. If I'm being honest, though, and if I'm being honest, I definitely want a popsicle now. Like just because, because that the red, white, and blue, those used to be the the best flavor off off the truck. That bump pop, that bump pop. Yeah, hey, man, that red, white, the blue. I don't know what color the white was, but what flavor? That was that was the white cherry. Like, uh, remember the white mystery Laffy Taffies and Airheads? That's exactly what the mm -hmm. white thing was. I don't know if it's I've had a, 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 a popsicle as a grown man. Really? <laughs> really? I don't think so. Just bite it. Ah, oh, Kanisha, I can't bite it. It's it's my tea. I only I only bite popsicle. I don't. I only bite popsicle it. too. And only yeah. from the side. From the side. That's well, all toxic masculinity, like guys. A, like, a, like a Chico stick. Oh, they. <laughs> What's the kind in the, uh, the square ones? Chico the square? stick? No, the square, uh, the icy, icy ones. Astro pop? I got nothing. Y'all niggas know all the freeze pop? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like a freeze pop. <laughs> the regular ass freeze pop? Yeah, <laughs> and the plastic and a little oh, plastic bag. Yeah, I don't pop. never, I don't never do raw popsicle. I, it got to be in like the little, in a little satchel. No, I don't do BT, no BT take the popsicle, pour a little bit in his hand, and shake it around like sunflower seeds, and then throw it in. You're going to answer two. Ah, that's how I eat his popsicle. I lay mine down on a tray and eat it with a spoon. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay, I eat it with a spoon. With a spoon. BT, eat his popsicles up, pour it in the glass, and drink it like Kool-Aid. <laughs> I, I tried to I tried to rotate the conversation into into positive happy stuff. We got right back to the nonsense. I was like, oh come on, y'all. Ice cream truck. <laughs> How did you try to rotate it back? So what part did I miss? <laughs> I didn't rotate it back, it just got back there. Okay. That's funny. Did y'all see the video uh old boy? He's like, how you eat a uh, a banana in public when ladies are around? He was looking around. Make sure no ladies around. He peeled the banana. He took a piece off, and he did it like this. Before. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. That nigga <laughs> broke the banana off and shook it like sunflowers. <laughs> like, like, like he about to roll some dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you doing? You about to <laughs> the proper way to eat a banana? banana as a grown man is to just tear off as much as you can bite off. You tear that bitch off and you eat and you, and you chew it up. You don't just- That's my motto gotta, too, Jay. You gotta insert the banana. You got you can take, you just can't break the motherfucker off and drop it in your mouth. No, what you do is you grab the whole thing and you just mash it and then stuff it in your face. I'm talking the real way. No, you ain't gonna do that at the liquor store. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna do no goofy shit like that. You at somebody's house. Somebody yeah, offered you a right like, yeah, yeah, well, eating bananas like Harambe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, bananas and frosted flakes, though? They're incredible. 
What? That is that chocolate is frosted flakes. I eat chocolate cereal too slow to eat frosted flakes. I can't do frosted Ooh. flakes. I eat cereal too slow. My cereal too game slow. is my my cereal. I eat I, too slow. I ain't, I, I, I ain't, I ain't got frosted flake though? speed, huh? Why you eat cereal slow? Yeah, what you doing in there? I like to enjoy my food. I chew it. I like to taste the flavor. I don't. I don't. No, I don't no, eat frosted flakes that taste. quick. No, we just lost Tony Baker. You can't disrespect cereal. He'll leave, bro. I'm not saying it's not delicious, but but frosted flakes get no, too quick for me. Eat, not eating cereal. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the cereal's gonna last a little longer. Let's say they, you know, stay a little more crisp. I mean, you gotta, you gotta eat that. You gotta eat that good shit. Then like them grain and oats. Ugh. Them clusters. Uh, uh, I I disagree. Bananas are the worst fruit ever. <laughs> Invented. They are not. Oh, I hate bananas. Plantains are lit, and banana bread is lit. Banana what? pudding is trash. Well, they make banana bread with banana the banana. The best thing I know, but you don't really bread. taste bananas in banana bread. So you are you Kevin? You one of the people that don't like onions, but like onion rings, like me. I don't like. Yep, I like sautéed onions. I like pickled onions. Uh, but like raw onions, nah. the, raw they got too much. The, the flavor too strong. Yeah. You like onion rings or you'll order them? Like, I'll never order onion rings. I have them. If you yeah. order them, I'll have some. But I'll, I'll never, never order them. Onion. But if you have yeah, one, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll take an onion ring. But I will I'm never not an onion me. ring. I'm not an onion ring uh, novelist. I don't I don't go out here and be like, yeah. let me try your onion rings. Right. <laughs> I'll try your fries. i try your fries. I'm not trying your onion ring. But most Two onion rings and nuts is all you really need. You don't need eight onion rings. That's very true. Kev, we're on the same page. You don't want the awesome blossom? You don't want the awesome blossom? But but see, I'm not paying for that. But if somebody offers it, I will have a couple. The well, awesome blossom comes to the table. Y'all like, yeah. take a piece of that awesome blossom. <laughs> <laughs> What's awesome blossom? Majority of the, time. the bloomin', the bloomin', the bloomin', the bloomin onion. onion. Ooh, At, I, oh, I didn't know it was called an awesome blossom. At, uh, Outback Steakhouse, when they cut it up. <laughs> I, I love thought it was called a blooming onion. I didn't. I didn't know it was called an awesome blossom. But yeah, you know, but you know, but you know why I don't like steakhouse in a long time. You only do roof, Chris. I already know. Hit, hit a reason. Hit a reason. I don't respect. I don't respect. I mean, for some reason, I respect fries, but I don't respect onion rings like that. I don't respect onion rings, and I don't respect uh, the blooming onion like that because I know how much an onion costs, and I'm not spending twelve dollars mm -hmm. on this thirteen mm -hmm. cent item. Right. But Tone, you know potatoes don't cost that much either. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I just, I just, I, I'm, I just said that before I started. I was trying to preface. Okay, that. okay. But, I, but, I, but I like them better, so it doesn't mean as much to me. Right. Kanisha, <laughs> Kanisha, Kanisha, you're muted. You're muted, Kanisha. I had to mute and, you. Hey, Kev, when's the last time you had? When's the last time you had? Oh, look at Tony Baker being silent eating cereal in front of me. Look, when's the last time? <laughs> when's the last time, Kev? When's the last time you had onion rings with accoutrement on it? Fries can have all kinds of accoutrement, cheese and chili, uh, all this kind of stuff. Onion yeah, rings don't true. never have. Uh, I don't think I've ever had onion rings with anything with, on it. With like accessories. Loaded onion rings. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, real quick, everybody. Tanisha, do you have headphones? Because we're getting mad feedback from your side. Okay, let me get some. All right. That's true. Loaded loaded onion rings ain't been really a thing like that. Because don't no. know. Why. I mean, you got cheese on onion rings, though. I've had That'd be too much. Rings. Did Barbecue you put cheese on your rings or did it come with uh, cheese on it? White, White Castles, you get the cheese on the oh, onion White rings. White Castle's White different. Throw some bacon bits on it. Because White Castle ain't everywhere. White Castle fire. White Castle ain't everywhere. I'm talking about White Castle everywhere. trash. Wait, White Castle trash. Right. Oh, hold on. Whoa, hold on, wait a Jay. second, Jay. Hold on, Jay. Hold on, let's not get disrespectful. Hey, mute Jay. Mute him. <laughs> <laughs> come on, goddammit. Let's go. <laughs> you know, he ain't said nothing in ten minutes, but that right there, that that's I, I know that, 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 that's what y'all Jay, man, Jay, man. stand in your view, Jay. Hey man, I'm, listen I'm, to me. I don't know if y'all know what this? I know about White Castle, and that's my story. I got my own personal stories against it. Listen, I I stopped there at one o'clock in the morning on my way home when I was in Brooklyn, and got me a goddamn White Castle full of goddamn food, thinking I was gonna be all right. And six hours later, I regretted every goddamn moment of it not vowed i'd never walk in that establishment again you don't know what happened to me that day but <laughs> yeah we do they called spiders i know exactly what happened to you <laughs> and you went back for more no nah, i don't really miss See, that's because your yeah, stomach wasn't ready jay uh, you, uh, but how did you feel when you when you threw that bag away when you finished when you threw that bag away you feel great I, I knew i fucked up after the third bite <laughs> <laughs> i knew i was in trouble it was a wrap but I kept going. I bought three of them little sandwiches because I thought I was like, shit, I can eat a couple. I, I smashed these. 
So I'm in the middle of the second one, and I was like, man, that that first one, I don't know. It ain't. It's like a little aftertaste because they got an aftertaste. They and do that have aftertaste. aftertaste. They started getting strong. Jay, it's the bread. That's the only reason people tune in for White Castle. You just like Hawaiian. If bread. you can get past that penny taste, you see what y'all know that aftertaste <laughs> I'm talking about. That's that. It, it tastes like you, you you drink a Shasta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how, 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 it got that taste like you, like, like you, like you, put, you put a nine volt battery on your tongue real quick. <laughs> It's like that, that that taste from that cheap ass soda. That that's that's enough White Castle splendor for one night. All right, all right man, that's my it. bad. I love I love White Castle though, but I know the consequences. But I do it anyway because I know what I'm getting myself into. You but like will, White Castle will, over hey. Crystals? Nah, Crystal Crystals yeah. better though. Crystals yeah, better. I do. I think it's I crystal. I'm, I'm from Atlanta. We didn't grow up with White Castle, but my whole family from the Midwest, so like, I, I prefer White Castle more though. Crystals right. would save me in college, so Crystals. I never I never had Crystals before though. Tony, what kind of cereal is this? It look, it it, it kind of looks uh, like frosted, it's, it's a, a bowl of a bowl of uh corn, white corn cheddar cheese. <laughs> <A bowl laughs> <of cheddar cheeses. laughs> I'm eating a uh, kashi. Oh, oh, see, see, see Tony went with a good nigga, cereal. Yeah. That is don't it get good? Tony, quick. do you like it? Or are you are you I, training yourself to like I it? I love it. It's the, it's the vanilla one, right? The island vanilla. Yep, best one. Tony has become the king of merchandise. He's eating his new cereal, Skibbity Paps, right now. <laughs> Bro, that's a good idea. Get you a bowl of Skibbity Paps. Hey, that is not that. That is a good oh, idea. Yeah. That's a oh, good that's idea. That's a whole line. You got Skibbity Paps. You got the little Skibbity cat Paps. on the box. <laughs> no, that's a great idea right there. We gonna see it tomorrow. Cat. We gonna see it tomorrow. <laughs> you got the little kitty cat on the box. Yep. <laughs> You could use your you could use midnight to sell the commercials. He could just be laying on the ground all weird like he be, uh, right? he be cocked open every night. Your cat is weird, Tone. That man, he your I've cat watches before, anime. Tone. I follow your cat. There's something wrong with that little nigga, man. You know what? He be he be laid out like Julius on uh, everybody hates Chris. Remember how he used to just sleep in the bed fully dressed, cocked open? Your cat <laughs> get up too now. slow. Mm -hmm. Most cats pop up. Your cat get up like an old nigga. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, he'd be like, hey, he'd be like, mm. he'd be like mm. he, get, he get, his cat get up like he got social security already. <laughs> so, the old cat get up like, Ugh. Uh, meow. His knees be cracking. Meow. Shit. Bro. I ain't never heard a cat's knees crack until me. Your back. cat tone, your cat is the type of cat to start patting. You owe him money, like, you know what, man? I ain't even got it on me today. I'm going to run into you today. Oh, you be it's on in my other pants. Cat. Let me just move some things around. I'm going to get you on next Tuesday. I'm gonna, I got a couple things I got working. You, man. Mm -hmm. uh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ramen um, juice. First of all, I don't even eat Thai ramen, but I do miss it. Um, <laughs> it's uh, vodka, some peach, something, and some of the popsicle. Okay. So I still, yeah. even when the popsicle's gone, I still got the popsicle. Kev, say it. Kev, say it. <laughs> What are you gonna say, Kev? I wasn't gonna say nothing, Kanisha. I support black women. I love you, man. You just do whatever you gotta do. I love you hey, so much. Hey, you know. Cause I haven't been right since you called me a vagabond or whatever the hell you said. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that to this day. I'd be really. Uh, I'm still I love some black poor women, <laughs> black women too. But I'm like, what is this Tupperware we drinking out of? You yeah. guys, when I had the baby, I put my bar up. This is all that I have. Dang, y'all don't know. How was the baby? One and a half. Maybe 14, man. Come on. I'm, 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 I'm not talking about the lick. I'm talking about the cups. <laughs> this is a baby feeding bowl. This is what she eat her oatmeal out of. What, what do you normally drink out of? Like when, is, this, you know, when you want when you want to you know have some water or something. Oh, we have water bottles. It's either this or the water bottles. Like I drink, this is what I get for the liquor. Because we don't drink juice in our house. It's just water. <laughs> Or liquor. That's it. So, Kanisha, this is the only thing I don't understand. Wow. You so we say gotta... you got rid of the bar and the, the shot glasses. Like, those are impossibly expensive to purchase again. Yeah, Come but for... Kev, Kev, have you ever lived in a one bedroom apartment with a baby and a dude that's 10 years younger than you that got extra shit well, that you don't need? So, all good. I have is this. I don't have no room for nothing new. Baby stuff took over my house. I have nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh, had to do you had to do with the outside kids. So you I, kept I the liquor and left the glasses. For, for four dollars, <laughs> you can go get a little 
little bag of them plastic red cups and you'd be good. You can reuse them. <laughs> or she's she them and her daughter, I can get cup. some baby oil gel. <laughs> or you could get regular cups and then feed the baby out of those. And then when you're not feeding her, you would have Ooh. cups. I might yeah. mess her childhood up by being selfish. I like that. Yeah, she's got to learn. The, the baby needs to learn early. It ain't about her, okay? You had a life before that, baby. If she got to eat out of cups, then that's just what she got to do. You don't have to drink out of baby food. Well, she got to suffer. You don't want her right. going to college don't you go and buy her drinking no baby lemonade out of lemon chairs. Out, you let her jump up into the big one. Wait, what all these experienced fathers say? <laughs> what did y'all say? Shit, I'm, I'm not a father. father. I'll exit this conversation. Cool. I'm not a father, cool. so I'm going to exit. Well, tell him you could have been one, but you was playing. Anyway, keep going. You know how to oh, hey, hey, don't be bringing up 2014 like that. <laughs> I wouldn't even took that plan B for you. But anyway, keep going. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, no, no, you know how to father? I'm looking at the chat. It say down here, it's some women. <laughs> it's like, Tony, come back to Texas to see your baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got to post, post a picture with Bean with a little gray streak. I'm about to be like baby bills. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that a gray streak in your ass? Well, I thought nah, you smelled it. The, ba the baby I had a, the baby have his little pose hitting the finger on his mouth. Oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, don't tell daddy. <laughs> like this, is your baby. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Yes, oh, it is. <laughs> hey, Tom did make it real. Tom. Told is really letting the joke die before he come back. Yeah, he gonna see that on now. But to hear you, you remember his his mama at the house, and so she like, wait, I got a grandbaby. <laughs> oh, grand I baby. know, mama too. Hey, mom. Oh man, that's crazy. Kanisha looked directly to the camera on the last <laughs> step. Yep. I won't tell. I should have never started drinking around this mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I what cannot wait for the Next sport is legendary. Oh, Lord, he's back. That's my gosh. Legendary. But can I tell you guys of something that I'm very proud of since we're talking about liquor? Please. Do you know that I stopped drinking on stage when I went to Nature Room? I did five shows all sober, standing nose, everything. I stopped drinking on stage. Oh, that's sure. a big deal. I look at it for people who know that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. I never used to drink before I got on stage. I got to LA and became dependent on liquor. I don't know what it is about Los Angeles. The whole time I was in Seattle, I never drank on stage. I just drank after. And then when I got to LA, it was like, I can't get on stage unless I drink. And I became hella dependent, like on an entire bottle of liquor a night. So I stopped drinking before I got on stage. I haven't drank. For, that's what I'm saying. I barely drink, but this is like a date for me. Like, look at this. Look at this. I'm dating. Shit. I'm sipping I, I, a date. I respect that, Kamisha. I really do. Kudos to you. Thank you. I'm very I happy. Think, it took a while. I don't ever, uh, I couldn't drink and perform because I, I need clarity of focus in mind. <sighs> I'm reckless at the mouth. So, <laughs> especially when I drink, I get real reckless. I mean, I'm still good at my job, but I like the clarity a little bit better because when you're drinking and you go blank, that's when you just go off deep in and start saying stuff you don't have no business saying. But like, damn, I just busted myself out. So at least when I'm dr not drinking, you know, I know exactly what I want to do. Even if I go blank, I can. It's easier to pull something. So I think I'm very proud of that. Have. Like I, you know, I started. I remember when I started. At first, I had to have a little drink before I went up, and then once I started smoking, and be like, all right. That would be what I would do to come down after my show. Be like, all right, cool. Because you know how you had that 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 buzzing high mm -hmm. after you get off the stage. You'd be like, all right, that'd be my that'd be my little release. So, but then it got to the point where it was like I couldn't drink at all while I was on stage. I don't know why that was. It just felt it felt felt crazy. But then it transferred to when you get on the road, you ain't got shit else to do. You standing mm -hmm. on stage, it's like, let me just hold this beer. Next thing you know, <laughs> I, I had two, I had three beers in the night. And it was just like, eh, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't drink a lot no more. But I, I went through both sides, man, to where I just couldn't do it to where now it just don't even matter. I just, I just zone out and rock. Yeah. Hey, Jay, hey, Jay, what, uh, what comedy club did you sneak into the night to do the show? Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> that echo was bouncing off of every chair in that goddamn club. <laughs> See, I'm in my garage. That's where I'm at. The echo, the oh. echo is probably just because I'm supposed to put in my um my headphones. 
Yeah. Right, it's all good. Or because it's a five because it's a five car because it's a five car garage. That's that could be the reason. Yeah. It's, no, it's three. Okay. I do want to be clear though. I drink after the motherfucker. So if anybody out there want to buy me a drink afterwards, you know, I just don't want to buy get it confused. Think I'm not drinking after the show. It's just before. Yo. Kanisha drunk, I, I want no parts. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a story. I love it. Let me tell y'all a story about drunk Kanisha. Me and her, we we doing this show way out in the valley somewhere. And we all out there, you know what I'm saying? I don't even remember this we show. We two hours out there, like, my car broke down and Keon had to come pick us up. But keep going. Car broke down. So Kanisha, but Kanisha is obliterated. And every time Kanisha gets drunk, she wants to battle rap Anybody <laughs> breathing? She'd be like, "Let's battle rap." Hold on, hold on, hold on. These motherfuckers wanna battle me, Tone. I'm like, "Yo, let's go." She's like, "Nah, I'm about to hit him with the busy bone real quick. I'm about to battle rap." I'm just like, Kanisha, don't get out of here, man. Fuck you, nigga, man. They can't see me on the mic. Ain't no mic. Ain't no mic. Kanisha. She in, she in the car with us driving away. She's still battling the, the back window. Hey, listen, it was these thug ass dudes. They were having a, but I was out there killing them. And they was like, hey, let's go. It's like 3 34 in the morning. Oh, and boy. I keep jumping out the car, like, oh, I got to go pee real quick. Oh, I left my ID. And then they would come find me. I'm over there just laying them out. You know what I'm saying? I Hold on, so, guts so there, you man. mean to tell me after three shots, she like, hey, yo, yo. I'm busting wig cap back. <laughs> he, he, he is Damn, eight miles. This is, a, this is, is a Wendy's. Miles. What are you, <laughs> do you want to place an order? Man, mom's spaghetti. As soon as she started drinking, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> this is a fact. This is a fact. Battle rap, like, if it's a fact, and I would not leave. I kept finding reasons to get out of the car. Keon had already drove all the way over there to get oh us. The, uh, was it Keon or Jay Alexander? They always look alike to me. I can never tell the difference. It's one of them two. And I think no, it's it's Keon. Keon. Keon's it in Keon. the top right lap now like, nigga! Yeah, was, <laughs> okay, so Keon. Keon, Keon remember, that's what I was like, I think it was Keon, but I don't want to say it's him and it wasn't. And I'm telling you guys, I must have went back to that battle rap. I remember like 30 times that I was a champion. Like every level, it was somebody new for me, and I was just gonna walk away from the title. Like, like. Oh, I hated her guts because we couldn't leave her behind. We were falls <laughs> deep in the valley, uncertain territory. Like two hours out of LA. <laughs> thugs, we were in Victorville. Thugs. We were in Victorville. That's hella far. We was like in Victorville. Uh, I wasn't Victorville. It was uh, it was up the other way. Oh, oh Oxnard. Yeah, Oxnard. 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 Yeah. We we in unfamiliar territory. Like, no, let's go. I'll oh, fuck these niggas. Tom. It was the bar. Come on. That's such an aggressive first bar, too, Tone. That's like man. Oh, out man. The gate. I hated her gut. I ain't talked to Kanisha for a while after that. He didn't. He didn't. I was he didn't. Hot. Yo, when we had my 90s party. Oh no! No, we might as well just let it happen now. <laughs> I feel like you still haven't forgiven me for that party because I ain't been invited to nothing else and I feel some kind of way about it, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we had my 90s party. We having the time of my life. I mean, we, Kanisha, she came in with vodka in a in a Minute Maid thing. I was like, girl, you got strawberry kiwi juice and it's clear. She was like, it's vodka. I was like, girl, well, I know it ain't juice. So she, <laughs> she thought she would tell you a secret. <laughs> Yes, oh, it's it's vodka. Oh, yes, it's in your house. <laughs> we having the time of our life, and then you know, basically, all at the same time, everybody's like, Well, I'm gonna head out, man. They, everybody head out. Kanisha left. We cleaning the house. I'm talking about hands on the way back with the baby seated. I'm talking about Kanisha bust back in the house. <laughs> Woo! Hey, where's the party at? I want food. I, hey, there's food left over at the party. We should go in the trash. I, I see y'all done put a piece of chicken on the top. Ain't nobody even touched this chicken. I'm I hungry. So drunk. You said it was on. It was on the top. It was on the top. <laughs> Listen, you know the music was off. We wiping down town, about to go to bed. Kanisha like, hey, 
Where y'all? Why y'all? Why y'all tired? Why y'all sleepy tired? You got Radio Raheem. She got, she got a boombox. You Radio Raheem. She got. <laughs> This is such a trust. I got the music. Oh my God. She, probably, she, she probably tried to battle that piece of chicken. I know she did. This little piece of chicken think it got bars. No, look out, Cam. I'm about to battle this piece of chicken. This is why I don't drink as much. Do you know I slept outside of Kim's house? At least I was responsible. I didn't wake up till 10 o'clock and then went home. Like, I literally I had took a nap. And then when I woke up, I was hungry. And that's when I went. I was like, oh, the party probably still going. It uh, wasn't. Was, but... People you have said, been gone for like an hour and, and a half, Tone. It, it was over. <laughs> I mean, we got we done changed from '90s clothes into basketball shorts and like white beaters. I remember. I, I love, I love how didn't even know the door was unlocked. The front door was unlocked. I know, I it. strong. Yes, Melissa was just looking. She's like, "Are you good?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good." Hey, hey, I love, how, I love how you, you said, want these bars. I love how you, you said I slept outside bars. of his house. Like that's passed out. That's not sleep. You didn't yeah. sleep. No, that definitely like wasn't that. That was but a bad At least thought. I was responsible and did not try to drive. At least I was responsible. You passed out and recovered, like and you were ready for round two. Long like, long oh, long let's time. get the party. So, but you didn't put on the gown. Misha, we'll get you a hotel. She was like, I do this all the time. I'll be fine. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sprinkles that was, come on? <laughs> you know, that party was live as hell. I had the microphone. I was going boom. Thug. I love that party, but oh, I have not been great. invited. Tanisha so killed her karaoke performance. She oh, did. Yeah. And she Yo, got, the party got out of control, up. and I didn't grow up doing no parties or nothing like that. At some point, people started telling other people to pull up that I didn't know. Oh, Those yeah. Like eight dudes sitting at my front door eating chicken. Like, man, this is lit. Whose birthday is it? I was like, mine, sir. Why? I don't. You just come to parties with people you don't know? It was some thugs in there. I know. Trust yeah. me. I know how to find them. I'm like, what the fuck y'all doing here? It was crazy. People was calling everybody. I, okay, so I invited some of these niggas you didn't know. But listen. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay. So, so this is not with a third crowd for sure. I don't, I don't, I don't deal with niggas I don't know in my house. That would never happen. Except for the ghosts. <laughs> except for the ghosts? <laughs> the, the, the his ghost. house is haunted, Joe. Oh, I don't no. know who this nigga is that live in my house, but this nigga will not leave, bro. You just got a ghost for real? You just moved in. I know. That's why we like, fuck, do we move or we just try to see if he cool? We like if he don't start moving shit around and like like fucking with us while we sleep, we just gonna ride this shit out, bro. Like right now, all he's done is just like show himself to the kid. And like called my name a little bit, but like long as he ain't like hide wallets and shit like that, we're like, all right, nigga, calm down. We'll, we'll Wait a minute. coexist. No, I grew up with a ghost. That shit is real. Oh. That's why I got nervous. Go ahead. Yeah, you, you had a real nigga pop up in your house to your kids mm -hmm. and and <laughs> and then call your name out. Bro, like, she, that, she nigga, that's she when it's time out. to pack, bro. <laughs> Bro, he, came out, he, came he got out. 10 more months on his lease. <laughs> like, all right, nigga. Yeah, we just signed the lease in August, so we got to ride this bitch out. up. <laughs> you can't just pack it up. You got, you got to do. You got, you got, you got two more months to do. Mm -hmm. I've been hey, there. Listen, you know, cool. life is real when you got a ghost and a new lease, and you're like, man, I must just have to deal with the ghost. I can't. <laughs> no. I, just can't I can't break this lease. I got to deal with 10 more months of a ghost. Yeah, when you just move <laughs> in, got you got a couch coming. Ride it out. Is, we is still, it, we is got it, furniture it, coming. We got. Listen, is, is it a real? You nigga saying save the house like I didn't do. We saved the house as soon as we moved in. That's a, that's an automatic. We saved the house as soon as we got in. I got the nag champ. I'm burning on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? We be playing gospel on on Sundays. Well, the sage is for negativity, so it might be a positive ghost then, because the sage yeah, is for like, negativity. Hey, y'all done cleared all the bad ghosts out. It's our time. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he maybe maybe he just trying to get your attention. Like to, I'm right to here. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your hey, boy. So I'm here. gonna get you a ghost rider. <laughs> Shit, uh, that's the ultimate ghost rider. Can't nobody even find now. Like, damn, oh, you got a ghost that was tagging your jokes. Like, hey, Terry, you got a great set tonight. Listen, I got this three for you. <laughs> but, if, but if the tags were good to hear, you'd be like, yo, man, and low key, man, he's he pulling his weight for the yeah, family. What if, what if you had a cool ass ghost in your house just complimenting you? I see your fit, bro. <laughs> 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 
You, dude, you wake up, he just be okay, nigga. You. Do the hat. Do I'm telling you, do the hat. I I you know, you know. Be like, I see you, boo. Oh. <laughs> oh, you gonna you gonna hit the camouflage bucket with the camouflage sweater on it? Boy, you don't level up. He don't kill him. They don't be with ooh. me. He don't even. Oh, he just go. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where you headed tonight, my nigga? You know I got this little show. What you gonna do? I don't know. I'll be playing with some cans or some shit, but I see you though. <laughs> I feel like that nigga was watching every episode of Lovecraft Country with us. Like nigga, I seen that before. <laughs> I know her. Nigga. Hey, I know her. That's my nigga you Henry. That's my together. nigga Henry right there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Pause it, pause it. Go back, go back real quick. Let me see. <laughs> I know that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Leonardo DiCaprio meme. Uh, to hear where he pointed at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> And she done gained some weight. She used to be thin back in the day. She was behind way back in Pennsylvania, you know. No. Nah. Oh my god. It be mad so y'all just ain't gonna decorate for Halloween and shit. Hey, that girl's gonna be out. You're not gonna celebrate my shit. Ah, that's what we doing. Wow. Okay, you here. Wow. You got all the Thanksgiving stuff. You even had something for Labor Day, Juneteenth. <laughs> It's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Oh man, we really, we really like. I'm not opposed to moving already. Like I'll break them. I'll break the money to break the lease. I pay the money to break the lease. I just like, I I can't deal with no like poltergeist type shit. Like, but you know what? Go ahead. Daughter taller than me, and if she gets possessed and like starts swinging, I'm gonna have to shoot her in the foot. I ain't gonna be trying to fight nobody taller than me, bro. I can't do it. I grew up with a ghost, so that's how I know how real that shit is. I'm not even gonna bring it up because it took me a long, a lot of therapy to get over it. But yo, he's telling the truth. If you think you got a ghost, you do. We grew up with a ghost, and you ask anybody in Seattle about the greenhouse on Martin Luther King in Alaska, even the police was scared of that motherfucker. My, so oh, my, aunt, my aunt died, and then we had to move into that house afterwards. And then before we moved in, Martin Luther King and whatever the other street you say it was, and Martin Luther King in Alaska. That's when when you moved and you lived in the house that your aunt died in. That was that that, that one that you talking about. The, the yeah, but that, yeah, but it was all. So this is what happened. So before my aunt had moved in there, the dude had killed his family in the bathroom upstairs. So we used to always be scared of the bathroom. And then my aunt had moved in there, and then she was dating, fucking with, messing with these Cubans. I always be trying to watch my language in front of cats, uh, messing with these Cubans. And they used to play with the Ouija board. And I know people don't think this stuff is real, but it is because it traumatized my childhood. So they had opened these portals. A lot of stuff started going on. Me and my sister were sitting on the couch and like something stepped on the glasses and the glasses broke. And even the police were scared. Like when they had showed up and someone was, get out of my house. None of the police would go in. Like it's a long story. So they burned the Ouija. First they threw the Ouija board under the church. The shit ended up back at the house. Then they burned the Ouija board, but all four of the corners didn't burn. We went through a lot of stuff as a kid growing up in a haunted house. Trust me. And so I had got this picture from the Goodwill. It was this picture of Jesus. And he had some lambs and shit. And I would put it under my window. And I had that orange little Bible they would give you for free. And I swear to God, you can ask any of my sisters. We used to sit under the picture of Jesus. And I would just read the Bible. And we would just sit under the picture of Jesus. Because when my mom said we was moving in, we was like, yo, we not going. But she made us move it every night for years. We would all sleep under this picture of Jesus I have with a little orange Bible because it ghosts be real as hell, yo. And they be messing with you. And that's some real shit. And now I've got the crying shit. <laughs> like, this shit got me. I'm going like to be honest. I really wish you hadn't told that story right now. Now that I'm here. You got to go to sleep. Yeah. I just love, I love when you people brought say. Up ghost to hear. Don't put it on her. She continuing the conversation. You brought up. I love that, when people say. I got a picture of Jesus. <laughs> and it was the white Jesus at the time, too. I didn't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> I love when people say picture of Jesus because I ain't seen one. I seen a lot of portraits, but no pictures. And I don't know who <laughs> joke that is. I don't know who joked that is. I know I've heard it somewhere, but like that should make me laugh every time. Every time I hear picture of Jesus, like I don't think he got no selfies out here. I don't think he got no. I get the point. I didn't even realize that you couldn't have got a picture of the Lord. <laughs> you got you got to get a portrait of the Lord. You got to get a rendering. For Kanisha, yeah, you got to meet the mic. <laughs> she got Spice Adams mic right now. That mug, that mug. What is she doing? She hey, that's here. That was classic, bro. 
Is my mic hot? <laughs> <laughs> he was in here tonight. He was in here tonight talking all types of shit. <laughs> no. That's one of my favorite moments. Oh man, that shit was so funny. That shit was so funny. Uh, we was trying to help him and he he went the whole other direction with it. <laughs> he turned it up louder. <laughs> No Leslie was so done. She was so done. Oh, that shit was hysterical. It was good. It was a good time, man. Tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a good time too. Just a reminder: if you guys haven't bought the tickets already to the Keep Your Distance uh, Comedy Show, you need to do that right now. Everybody on here has their own uh, promo code. We can get three dollars off. Uh, you need to take advantage of that right now. Tomorrow, I think the tickets go up five dollars, and you right now you can purchase the forty-eight hour link so you can watch the show yeah. all the way to Sunday. But if you don't do that in advance, trust and believe you will not see that show. So make sure you get the tickets early. Do not wait till it goes up. Don't be part of the late crew. Okay, get the forty-eight hour pass so you can watch it all weekend. Watch it with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, man, don't cry about it later because we all try to every you you got. Nine different promo codes available to you. Eight on the screen right now. So if you ain't taking a valid saying, you know, you just don't want it bad enough, damn it. Shit. Okay. Yeah, man, Kev, I appreciate it, man. I am non-juice, bro. I am oh, me too. Comedy wow. in front of people, fam. I'm man. so excited. Yeah. Bro, Kev, can I can I can I tell you how many DMs I got about this robe and uh the hair tie that you created being like, I ain't gonna lie, that's not a bad look. I'm like, it's a costume. <laughs> hey, when you put it on, we said that. that. Listen, I mean, y'all said that when we was there. That was, I mean, but you know, we all, you know, this is what we do. So, like, we all, but we serious. We was there. <laughs> we was it we didn't even look through. weird. It didn't you know, look the weird at all. Like, oh, the thing about the sketches that's backfiring is people are like, man, the sketch is great. Buy the tickets. No, no, man. I just, I just like these. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, man, we are we're trying to promote something. We're not just doing this for fun. They <laughs> love them sketches. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, let me tell you something. They'd be like, no, I'm going to wait until Friday. Oh, my it bad. Me, ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, it took me a second to see the cut of, because uh, I, I think I hit you for the five heartbeats joint. And man, the, the comeback after the flyer with BT's finger going to the. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, the first sketch, the Popeye sketch. The, the first oh, one, my man. gosh. The dialect specialist. Man, when BT's fingers went back and we cut back to the fingers reaching in, <laughs> bro, I was not ready for that shit. I mean, in the room, it was funny. I didn't know it was coming on the edit, bro. That shit was... I didn't know they got it. I didn't even know they got it. Yeah, me neither. I was ready for it. Oh, man. <laughs> you, so you were singing like you were scared, but you know, I ain't no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and Frankie Beverly, man, that was man, that's uh, bro. Cause because first of all, the sketches have all been hilarious, fam. The Godfather's fire. I watched God, I went back to go watch the Godfather. I was like, oh, I forgot about this one. Oh my god, that Joker one is everything. Joker. Yeah. That Joker one crazy, yeah. The, the one Joker with the girls. One. But uh, that set it off though. You know, set it off. Is, oh, that's my favorite off. one. Shantae uh, the was off one was great. Oh the my god! Off one, Shantae really, really made that go. The yeah. thing I like about the sketches is I just be coming with like a part of the idea, and then the comedians we be coming together, and be like, "This will be funny. That'll be funny. This will be yeah. funny." And that's bro, what they bro, did. Really I walked in. Man, I walked in twenty minutes days, late. I walked in twenty minutes late. Oh, go ahead, Jay. I'm, I'm just saying. One of these days, I hope we get an invite to the sketch group. Old head can hang in there. You got invited, Jay. You, you got invited. invited. Jay. You should have been there with us. You yeah, was invited. You know, I did all this in that one day that I missed. I, I got called in to work. No, we shot all of them four in like three hours. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, then yeah, we I, all, all my yeah, I did, Jay. I got there 20 minutes late. I got there 20 minutes late because of traffic and everything. I got there 20 minutes late and they already talking. And I was like, hey, so uh, what, uh, like, you know, can I get the rundown of the sketch cab? Like, oh, no, no, we just not doing it. <laughs> we're coming up with it right now. We just we, we bouncing off. We we all come in, but like you know, but that's that's like like you said, BT early, and everybody else has said, like that's what's dope about finally, you know, just coming back together, and seeing everybody's like then juices start flowing again, and then yeah, everybody, you, gotta let, everybody, you gotta let funny people be funny, man. You can't come with a like a fully written script and not net, not let nobody like add on to it because we all that's, different and we all different. That's what makes it the best. Yeah. Pop Passing the Popeyes box was not a part of the plan. It was she was just supposed to do a Popeyes commercial. I don't even remember who said it'd be funny if we passed it and then did something. I was like, 
I think it, I think it was the one of the guys on the camera. Yep, it yeah, was. It might have been. And then shit. everybody started adding their shit. And then when Tone got it, and we just for some reason we was just like, whoa! I was like, why did everybody say whoa at the same time? That's what it just made it. And then we just kept it. Yeah, it was Funny natural. <laughs> That was, nah, great. It was great. I mean, I, 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 I love that camaraderie, man. It's just like, plus we all want each other to win, bro. Like that's just, yeah. yeah. That's the, you know, anybody mad at like somebody else's joke? Everybody like, oh man, that's such a good joke. <laughs> one of the, yeah, one of the things that uh, a lot of older, older comedians they be like, they be saying, hey man, y'all be liking each other, y'all be helping each other. <laughs> we was not like that. We was like, man, forget him and her. We out here alone. Yeah. All right, like, well, man, go ahead. So Tony on Food Network. It, what is this? So yeah, Tony, 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 doing, what Tony doing a different show right now. <laughs> he do a mukbang. If you, if you, I'm sorry to hear. This is your job, but if, if I may, uh, you currently watch Zoom with the homies, but Tony Baker is doing fooding with the homies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show inside of a show. Well, the fact he's showing it to us because I know he put his hands like this on every item. That's a lot you of spinning. You pull back his Martha Stewart and everybody else, else in his kitchen. He's shooting a whole other show on the other side. side. Well, I'll go grab a pot of greens I just made. If that's what we're doing, <laughs> some vegan chicken. I got a big ass pot of greens in the fridge. <laughs> but you gonna come out, go. Kanisha? But you gonna come out with it in, in a baby bowl? <laughs> <laughs> it heats up faster in the bowl. Shut up. <laughs> what in there? Oh my gosh! No, the uh, only what you making? The Keenan and the Smoke Crack was fired too, though. Yeah, that's your oh answer. my God, I love that. Oh my what? God, what? What was that? That was that was that was all Cass voice, man. That was huh? Yeah, man, yeah, was he sounds. Just... <laughs> smoke Crack, don't you? <laughs> oh, what is the white stuff? What is uh, that? Uh, that's, that's, that's frozen bananas. Oh, uh, coconut. Oh, uh, it's frozen uh, banana. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were. Is that talking. spinach? Can you yeah, push the spinach uh, down? It's doing too much. Please condense it. Tony not even listening to us right now. He can't hear nothing we saying. Oh, I'm I, I, just want, I just want to kind of know what kind of spent uh, uh, smoothie this about to be. I'm listening. I'm just showing everybody. Super <laughs> food, nasty. That's, 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 okay, that's, I want to taste this at this point. I need a little bit more berries in there for my personal. Now, hold on, hey, that. Oh, okay. You got some sea moss in there many, or something? Tony, how many frozen bananas you got in this freezer of yours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two in separate bags. They that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, okay, that's what I'm saying. How many, how many frozen bananas we got there? How many frozen bananas last a long, long time, time, bro? How many kilos of bananas we got in this freezer? <laughs> 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 uh -oh. It's ridiculous. Okay, got the blueberries for the antioxidants. Man, I gotta see it to the end now. Like, yeah, okay, man. You know, he got some antioxidants going. All right, yeah, I see it. Antioxidants. Hey, that's Tony, you're low key out here with all the rain talks. Tony got. What if he don't blend it? He just punch it down into uh he just <laughs> muddle it with his fist. <laughs> oh, you gotta show us ice. ice. You ain't gotta you got show an ice cube ice. tray. You, you, you just put ice in there. Ice no ice oh no, that's the rubber it. one. That's the rubber one where you can bend it. This is a little bendy yeah. flex. Oh, was, was it about the tray, not the ice? I don't know. Don't you can, ice when you got here's the thing though, you can, you can you can just freeze the spinach and then you won't need the ice. If the exactly. if the spinach and the fruit is frozen, you don't need any ice. Just use milk. Yeah, but if you that's freeze exactly. the spinach, don't it lose all the nutrients? No. It I'm not a scientist. Anyway. I don't, I don't know. Man, I'm not to freeze sure? Hold on. What'd you say, Tony? You're not supposed to freeze vegetables. Yeah, you're not supposed to freeze vegetables. Okay, shut your ass up. You don't know man, what just letting you know, man. You don't know what you happened. freeze fruit, though. The fruit, fruit fruit's different. different. Here you had a stroke two weeks ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want him to push it down. I don't know why it's driving me crazy. No, no, he's he about, he about to punch it. it. He ain't, ain't got no base to this uh, uh, blender. He's just about to punch it down until he can muddle it. That's what I'm head. saying. <laughs> well, you know that was his first <laughs> job. To cover it with his what hands. If not, what if he didn't actually have Cram. a Cram. That's what he's going to say when he do it. Cram. <laughs> Cram. And then he's... Hey y'all, mix this up, and he gonna drink it straight out the blended uh, thing. That's because I believe in Tony Baker. A sprinkle of cat hair on. What if he picked it up and just started shaking like this, and the whole thing started <laughs> blending? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh no! You should Everybody do it. Should do it. Just go ahead and dump that out. And be like, yeah, fuck that. This is nasty. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how I ain't that. quite I ain't quite made it to the health level to be able to sit there and make myself a shake that looked like that. I, I ain't there yet. No. It's, 
It's oh, too yeah. much spinach. I make I make shakes, but mine be having all types of shit up in mine. But spinach don't spinach don't go that far. That that that's yeah, spinach that, right that, there. That. If you cook that, that shit, this much spinach. Right. It is. Right. That's why I wanted to push it. You got to use scale. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying, trying to drink, drink it through a straw. Oh, you got oh you got one of the uh uh, uh Cosby Show joints. Like one of them. Uh, I admit. It's a puree. 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 You know what I'm saying. I got a neutral bullet. I ain't got one of them uh, the sticks you put down. I got, I got the neutral bullet too. It always be spilling over though. You gotta tighten the BT. You gotta tighten the the top. You I've been filling it up too far. You put, yeah, you're putting too much fruit in there, bro. No, it's not the fruit. It's the apple juice. It's the Mountain Dew. The apple juice. <laughs> well, apple juice is all sugar. You killed the whole smoothie. Yeah. Okay. Don't want to watch me make some macaroni and cheese. No? Tony, you need to put some hemp seeds in there. That's what's with some hemp seeds, some sea moss. That's what you need up in there. Some did bladder it, and some, a little bit of coconut oil. Did, did, yeah, that spin is gone. Cram, oh, cram, yeah. well, if you cram, get, if you get the broken plus powder. Cram, cram, <laughs> cram, cram. <laughs> what is going on with, with Buzz's Wi-Fi? Man, it's just dip with the dip, 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 dip. It's got to be some Tony Baker fans on here. Somebody do some fan art about it. I couldn't hear him making a smoothie. Somebody do some fan art of Tony Baker's making a smoothie. I know he got some fans on here right now. He got to be. Somebody got to be drawing this right now. Just take a still shot. I, I honestly want some uh, smoothie now, though. I don't Listen, know that shit at, all. at this point, Tony, you really done been like, man, that's all right, man. That's all right. I, I wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> Jay, the smoothie with the, uh, with, I mean, you put three strawberries in almost any combination of vegetables, it's going to be delicious. Yeah. No, nah, man. Fresh strawberries is overrated. I agree. Fresh strawberries are overrated. I agree. It's oh, the blueberries. Every day, it's I, the blueberries I, I, that take I, it up a notch. No, I'm and going, put some I'm, kiwi. Blueberries I'm, are great. Blueberries going, do what they come blueberries, to do. Blueberries, uh, grapes, and green apples is, is how I get my. And That's maybe, the best thing. And now like, maybe I sne- maybe I sneak in a little bit of agave because and, I'm bougie. And, but listen, <laughs> if you throw agave. some dates in there, you should have three dates a day, especially men. It's good for your prostate. Eat yep. the dates. Cut up three of the dates and put it in there. It will give you. I don't think I've ever had a date in my life. Let's see me make some peach cobbler. Well, I could give you one, uh, but no, you can um, <laughs> just put the just put mm-hmm. the dates in there. They're good. They're really good for your body. Got a bag of dates in the, in the crib right now. You sure? That's good. You say, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on three dates and I'll take care of my prostate. I'm gonna fry some chicken. I'm gonna fry some chicken and put some Lego waffles in the toast and let your wife do that next. This is pretty unhealthy shit. shit. This make, nigga make making me feel bad. bad. I go get up life every day, though. Tony had two bo- bowls of cereal, and now you're about to drink this. This is <laughs> your colon. Is, your, col- your colon is uh is moving ready. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the healthiest bowl of shit at all. <laughs> Tony don't moving. stop eating, bro. Tony don't stop eating. When we were on tour, he was always hungry. Always hungry. Mm. Tony, Tony snack a lot. He's a snacker. The like snacks will be yeah. killing you though, man. For me, now, nothing makes me happier than eating mm. super unhealthy, salty, savory, greasy shit at two in the morning watching TV. Like it's my favorite thing to do. That's so here goes vegan, vegan fried chicken. This is what we. <laughs> this no, no, is no, our no. fried chicken. Vegan chicken strips. This is it right here. That's really mushrooms, but that's what that's how we do it. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at kid <Kim> face. <laughs> That's it. That's the face. And then she didn't even believe it, man. She was sad showing the showing it to us in the camera. Hey, man, this you know we trying to do a thing or two, man. You know it saying. is. This is what I've been eating for years. Well, three years I've been vegan, but this is it. It's good though. I know. I, I know Keenan and Tony, and I think Kanisha are vegan vegetarian. Tone or, or Jay are yeah, Kev, y'all vegan vegetarian yet? No, I got restrictions, but I, I mean I eat. I eat whatever I want to, but I but I got I got stuff I just don't eat because I don't like it or like it don't agree with my body. Other than that, I eat whatever I want. Gotcha. I'm not I'm not vegetarian. I'm pressed for vegan. You what? Vegan French dip. Pressed for vegan, whatever it's called. Presbyterian. Where you only eat oh, you fish? vegan? You eat fish? Nigga, yeah. I made wings tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made wings tonight, and in my air fryer, I made wings, and my wings are unbelievable. My wings are unbelievable. My air fryer wings are unbelievable. So I, air fryer wings, bro. Air oh, fryer, wow. yeah. I mad the air fryer came out and got popping after I stopped eating meat. Like, god damn, I really want to try one of them wings. Yeah. 
No, my air fryer game. Oh, air fryer, yeah. And I, and I, I can't be with nobody if, if she don't, don't have like, an air fryer. If her air fryer game ain't up to mine, we ain't gonna be together. Cause my air fryer trust, game is crazy. About the, First of all, if they don't got seasoning, if, then you don't. If they, if they, if they seasoning cabinet ain't all seasoned out, then she can't cook anyway. Cause I, I mean, use mega seasoning. What you say, Jay? What you say? I think Jay? they lying on them infomercial commercials about them little air fryers. She said anyway, nigga made the grilled cheese on one of as a friend, uh, I'll make you a grilled cheese and air fry. It's gonna blow your hat off. Okay. Hey, your mic sound like you're doing the PA announcement at a high school football game. <laughs> I am. <laughs> blue 42, blue 42. Shit. And with another third down, it sound like this. I wanted to sound like. Darth Vader, whoever. It, it, well, you have achieved that because nigga. <laughs> I ain't mean it. Sound like we in an echo. I don't so can't believe y'all got me. To, to hear I don't know. Got, I'm tipsy frying hear. vegan chicken at this point. Some vegan mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Anisha, sit down. <laughs> to hear what you eating. I'm here I'm always eating, eat, man. Huh? You drinking some water? Nigga. <laughs> Be lying. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, over here got water. This nigga face look like chipmunks. He got, I'm talking about drinking water. You eating water to here? Are you really were drinking water? No, no. Oh, what's, no what's you what's eating, you? He, he trying not to talk. No, no. All right. So introduce. <laughs> no, no. Say something else. Promote the oh, show. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it right here. Once, once you said that tone, I see that he had he had tucked it in right there. Wait. <laughs> Even he put up that picture. That picture looked like you making an order. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get um. Uh... So he had fruits and nuts <laughs> in his cheese. Waiting baby. for the. <laughs> I was just drinking. <laughs> you guys, that's drinking. what I sound. You still Yo, not uh, done. The you beverage got some problems in your beer, bro. Uh, I, I was drinking. I, this is frozen like a slush, so I was just chewing the, chewing the ice. Oh, you know, I love Let me tell you slush. something. Tell you something. If it's that frozen, I, look, we've talked. Your teeth ain't that good to be uh, just to be chewing frozenness. <laughs> you know, like a slush. I thought you had a confidence, motherfucker. You just took it too far, Tom. You just took it too goddamn far, Jack. <laughs> Here, your 70s voice is lit. You could have been in a black exploitation <laughs> film. I would have seen your movie. Easily. So you're like, I'm, not, I'm only just drinking water, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you took it too far, Jack. Yeah, yeah, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking water. water. I'm, I'm trying, trying to tell you. Jack, 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 Jay is doing the mic check at a concert every time he talks. <laughs> it is. <laughs> My mic sounds sounds nice, 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 nice. Can you turn me up a little bit more in the monitor? My mic, mic sounds nice. <laughs> Misha, we hear everything you are doing in that kitchen. Oh, well, let me move out the kitchen. <laughs> Girl, you got to mute your phone. You open it every drawer you have. You read all the nice the silverware. <laughs> You're like, you know, I don't put the spoons on the right side. I don't like them on the left. And I'll put the knives in the middle again. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know a vegan that wears feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's fucking hilarious. I'm sorry if it went over your head. That's just well, that's what you're gonna see Friday. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I, I will. I'm not judging anything that Tony or uh or Kev eat because I am watching y'all steps and whatever y'all gonna eat, y'all gonna walk it off. Cause y'all, Bruh, be, I be. Eating, bro. I'd be hiking for a minute. Yes. I see, I'm probably watching. I'm like, man. I'm, I'm barely making 10,000. Y'all be at 17, 19, but like for the afternoon, I'd be like, I like to hit 10,000 before, before I even get my, before I even get in the shower. That word. Oh, if I ain't hit 10,000 before I got in the shower, then it's going to be tough. I try to skate. I try, I try, I try, I try to skate. Oh, wait, go, Tom. Oh, What'd you say, Tony Baker? I say once I get in the shower, I ain't doing no exercises. I oh yeah, walk. it's over. I, I I done hiked with Tony before and passed out. Oh, he sure did. Man, we used to have a real life. You passed out in real life? Oh yeah, absolutely. Kenan, Kenan was laid out. 
I thought they're gonna have to call a for me. I, I literally, they was like, "Why you got a sweater on when you hiking?" I was like, "Ah." Oh. Oh, oh, you didn't know what hiking was. Was you was you early into hiking? Bro, I this is what happened, man. I ate a pastrami sandwich before I went. Hilarious. Drunk no water and went on a hike and passed out with a sweater on. So you you out here just you just and Tony's just like the worst good? of the worst. You good? You, good? <laughs> you should have just eaten flour. <laughs> right. And then when you were passing out, did you feel it or you you knew after? I, I felt oh. it. They, they saw me feel it. Cause I was, I was like, hey, y'all don't feel good. And then I started cramping up. And my hands literally like did the Chris Rock. You know how he be doing his That's hands right. like this? I had the Chris Rock hands. <laughs> I, got two I, just, I, just, I just like oh, literally oh. like shriveled up. Yeah. And they kind of just guided me down to the floor like this. It just guided me, him and Chad just guided me down to the floor. We had uh, to massage his little hands. We got you little <laughs> hands. You little no, to, to be that vulnerable in front of comedians got to be the worst. Oh, man. man. Oh, Tony Tony is the worst person to be vulnerable in front of, man. He's terrible. I, I yeah, but, yeah, but I, can, I can see Tony doing this. Wait there a minute, hold on. <laughs> why, am I, why am I there? <laughs> he just he can't stop trying to look bro. at you. There he goes. <laughs> why, am I, why am I terrible? Man, remember, you remember when we was in Sacramento and I was, I was telling you a story, like a, a vulnerable story. I was spilling my guts out to Tony. He was like, oh, he just well, went yeah, to sleep. That was sleepiness, though. That was in the wrong He moment. went to sleep. <laughs> I was asleep. hanging on by a thread before like you this. got uh, there. He literally just split <laughs> down, too. Wait a minute, hold on, man. Like, we, <laughs> was, we was talking regular. And then when he got, like, super deep and serious, I was already halfway out of here. Nah, man. <laughs> I was on autopilot already. I'm like a pass out Tony, on your hopes and dreams. Tony, you mean to tell me Kenny was like, and you know what? I didn't have a good relationship with my father. You were like, mm. yeah, I was yep. out of here, Ken. Oh, my this, 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 that day. With a dash, what's up? That's that day I was like, man, <laughs> my mama like, never oh, loved man. me. Like, yeah, that's what's up. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's what you doing tomorrow? My whole family <laughs> died in the school bus <laughs> explosion. I'm like, man, it'd be wild out here. <laughs> I had nothing for him. He went to sleep. I didn't want to wake him up. I couldn't wake him up. I just sat wake there. Wake him up, Keenan. You can't let him be tired right now. You need him. I, I can't wake here. him up. That's rude. Yo, Tom, man, you got to <laughs> That's wild. Your mind hey, listen, if Tony up, Baker man. want to go to sleep, he going to sleep, bro. Oh, yeah. Tony... Tony said, hey, man, you know, your mind got burned up. Fires be hot, man. Yeah, man, it's crazy, <laughs> man. Sometimes, you know, fire, fire is like you, you can rise again if you are finished. And he didn't even apologize. Like, man, afterwards. people need to be checking their smoke detectors. That's what I be trying yeah. to tell people. Was the batteries in the smoke detector? Because you got to get the C, the V batteries. You know? <laughs> That's the only time you need a nine volt. Yo, Keenan, were you talking and then did you look at him and is he asleep or you watched him slowly fade down to tire? I, I, I was telling. Did you know it was happening? Did you know it was happening? Not, ex not, at that, not at that point. I saw him at the end of his sleep. So I, when I turned around, he he, Kenan like, turned his back and had a soliloquy, <laughs> and he just he just split out. <laughs> Tony, what you? And then and then he did. You can take that. Then he didn't, he didn't, then he didn't apologize about it. <laughs> he he didn't, he didn't looked day. out the window when he was telling his story. See, that's why I am the way I am today. <laughs> Wait, and then and then after that. He asked, me like to tell story story. Three. he asked me to tell the story again the next day. Like the next day, like, you, you, you want to retell it? I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> <laughs> tell you the story, nigga. Come on, <laughs> come on. It's two o'clock like, so, now, bro. I'm wake for real. Come on, yeah, you know, so it was a plane crash. Go. Hey, Kenny, turn around with this. Kenny, turn around with this. You feel me, Tony? Tony, Tony. Jesus, hold on. Let's paint the picture. Tony, Tony fell asleep with a bowl of cereal on his, on his chest. <laughs> Let's paint the picture. It was mad late. We was both, we was, we was doing a comedy club. We was in the Bay Area, actually. Yeah. And we oh, were staying yeah, yeah. with Keon's homeboy. We was we were staying in his garage because he had like two couches in there. So we both laid out on each couch. And so we already set up for bed. This is pretty much. Me and Keenan are pretty much brothers in the bunk bed at this point. We ain't got no covers on. But I was covered up. <laughs> I had the blanket. I was like, yeah, you know, we just talking, but you know it's the wind down. And then Keenan gonna take it serious, and I'm all I'm halfway out. Keenan hopped off the oh, top bunk and was like, I need to talk to you. 
So you got to sit up. You can't, you got to come out the blanket when you know your boy is, he laying his heart on the line. You you feel like, I feel like you was like, yeah, man. Keenan man. came down the ladder. He hopped on the top bunk and needed to talk. <laughs> bro, Kev, my you know, eyes Kenan, were watering, Kenan bro. Keenan had both his your hands eyes were watering, his eyes watering. Because <laughs> <talking. laughs> like, I was four, right? Wait, Wait <laughs> your, your eyes was watering? I was telling the story, yeah. I was telling the story. I, was, I got teary-eyed. So when I looked over, I was like, this nigga got, I'm about to drop a tear. This nigga <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened to my whole family. <laughs> so, so it's been and only then was I able to reconnect <laughs> with my father. <laughs> but like I said, the, the most disrespectful thing was him asking me to tell the story the next day. Mm -hmm. I take the sleep. <laughs> you can't do that, Tony. <laughs> hey, man, listen. So about last night, so your mom got hit by a train or <laughs> ran ran a train. <laughs> let's go do that set again. What's the set you was talking about last night? Like, Nigga, I was telling you about my. Oh. Would you? Would y'all? Would y'all open up to somebody that was half sleep? Tone, you got to understand. Yeah. You know, the late night thing, you bonding, you like, man, you know what, man? This is my boy, Tony. I'm a, I don't even really be thinking like that. You know, Keenan thought about that before. Tony, he Tony, turned, over, yeah. turned, Tony turned over his stomach. Keenan didn't even see it. <laughs> Tony was laying like this on a pillow. And this, this might have been, this might have been Tony and I, maybe second road gig or something like that. So this, you know how on the road you bond with people. So we, this is, this Not is a bonding thing. moment. I was like, we ain't gonna never be friends. We ain't gonna. <laughs> he, no. he, did, he did has not opened up ever since. <laughs> I haven't. I've been, I've been closed off. Tony, you know what's funny is he he forgave you in that moment for almost killing him in the car. He was like, hey, yeah. you know what, man? I I, I want to forgive you, man. <laughs> I miss all the forgiveness. <laughs> I was like, did the Eagles win? I was out of here, man. Let me tell you about when Tony is done, he's done. We had a road trip. I think it was me, him, Dante, and I don't know who else was in the car. Now, we are hella far out with you guys, and I'm tipsy as hell. I like, it's no way that I should have even drove us home. And Tony just looked at me and was like, look, I, I'm, we not going to make it if I drive. And everybody else was fake and sleep in the back. So here are my drunk ass, oh. like, y'all, remember when I drove... Sleep? They was fake asleep. And apparently, these, they they have no license or nothing. But you guys gonna understand? I drove back pretty much naked. From I get drunk and I take my clothes off, right? So there I'm like, go, yo, <laughs> and I had to. I drove us back pretty much naked, like a two hour drive, tipsy as hell. And I'm thinking at least Tony gonna stay up and talk with me and help us get home. I look over, he's knocked out, and these two that were fake asleep, everybody sleep. I'm like, yo, I could really just kill us all. Ain't nobody. Basically a butt-ass, naked, drunk person <laughs> driving us, and I was out of here. I was, <laughs> it was done. Like, do you know how crazy that is? You'd be like, all right, she's naked. I'm at least stay up and help her. Nope. He, when he's done, he's done. And it was a long-ass drive. It, you we, know was what San we was coming from San Diego. We was coming back from San Diego. And I was I like, Denisha, <laughs> make sure you put the good gas in. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he, when he's done, he's done. It don't matter what the situation is. I'm like, I should be the last person driving us home. I mean, I can do it, obviously, but I probably should have not have been the, the best candidate. And we look I'm in the back. I'm mad at the uselessness of Dante trying to Man. face me. They knew, they knew they heard me. Yes, because Tony was like, look, I'm so tired. I cannot drive. Can anybody drive? Any? And we look, and they are both back there fake, like they, dead, knocked out. And so it's only me up, naked, going, y'all, I really... And they, was, they, was like that dude, they was like that dude in coming to America that fell down the steps to, <laughs> with the drink. That's exactly what they did. They fell down the steps. I was like, hey, man, one of y'all is driving back. <laughs> and it was me. This is 10 years ago. I don't get like that no more. But back oh. in the day, I used to be wild he's, as hell. He's a driver, though. I almost killed Kanisha on the road. Uh, so the man. Way better. It was a it was a puppy on the freeway. Y'all know I like to drive at light at night, like 2 in the morning. And yeah. Puppy on the freeway. So I'm trying to slow down and swerve to miss the puppy. Kanisha stepped on the gas. She's like, if you don't hear that puppy, hit the puppy. Swerve. You can't swerve the puppy. You're going to flip the car. I was like, oh, that, that do make sense. You guys, we were going to the, the bay, and he. I don't slow down for nothing under fifty pounds on the highway. I ain't yeah. Listen, that for <laughs> no, BT said. Well, it looked at me. It was just a baby. It looked yeah. at me. He's the car, you guys. He swerved the car, and the shit is rocking. Like we are about to die. Don't let him try to make it seem like it was a baby ass swerve. I was the whole shit though. was. So I'm like, well, we hitting the puppy. Like what the? <laughs> He's like, what well, a puppy looked at me. Like he like like okay. 
I the headlight. That, that wasn't you. That was the headlight. That wasn't you. So you've plowed through a puppy before? You, <laughs> <laughs> you willing to say that right here tonight in front of everybody? I wouldn't have had you dance down on a puppy before. I well, it was right a possum, and I did cry because it was Thanksgiving, and I felt like you know his family was going to miss him, but that's the only thing. But you, you're supposed to run these things over him. We were going like 80 miles an hour. You can't swerve. Yeah, we I know moved. 80 miles an hour. Yeah, we, you can't swerve. It, it was like, it was the right decision, but at the time, I didn't think about it because I just saw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Labrador. It was like a, a, a mangy Labrador. I was like, yeah. She was like, nigga, you gonna kill us. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I got too many stories with y'all on the road. I hate it. Her just so we're clear, you guys, this nigga, <laughs> he didn't take his sweet time getting to the nitty gritty in the car. <laughs> yo, Tony, Tony was out in under 10 minutes. Yo, you, yo, you got seven minutes. How long was you the story? How long was the story? How long was the story? Bro, I couldn't finish the story, Tone. He was how, out how long were you talking? Minutes. How long were you talking? And then realized. Under 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, so wait, so you poured your heart out in four to eight minutes. Was it a comic 10 minutes or a regular 10 minutes? Right away. He didn't come out with the hard pour. He I was, was getting to the He was building up to it. And seven minutes, you got seven minutes. This, 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 Tony said, and Tony said the setup was, was, was keeping him. You got the light. <laughs> gave you the light. <laughs> he gave you the light. I gave you the light. Yo, Keenan, tell us, tell us now. Tell you got to trim the fat for this for Tony Baker. You got to trim the fat. So, so Bell, he didn't give him the light. He gave him the night light. He was like, <laughs> Keenan, tell it, tell everybody what you were telling me right here, right now. Come on, make, make it right, Tony. I would never tell you anything again like that. <laughs> And that's why I would I'm never spend my heart on Tony. He got a beard now. He don't. He don't need this no more. He got a beard now. <laughs> here's a, here's he's the funny part. Right? Like, you know what's crazy is if Keenan started telling that story, Tony gonna go together again. He just snack good. Keenan got the soothing <laughs> voice. Like, what if all of us went to sleep right here? In the <laughs> that's, that's why they do it. That's when, I wasn't that's even when really all that mad. green and that shake gonna kick in. You gonna have to run to the restroom all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let, me, let me tell y'all why I hey, made keep, the smoothie, keep, keep, man. Keep telling. I'll be right back, though. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Keep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had to make the smoothie because if I, I remember this part, I remember this part. I'm gonna come back on the part I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I don't remember, but like I'll be right back. Let me. What you Tony, said the worst story? part of this story is that eventually Keenan decided. Oh, I can't do this. And then you were just fully asleep, and he had to sit in that for another 10, 15 minutes. With a, with a wet face, Kev. <laughs> with a very wet face. I, bro, I, don't, I, I can't even explain the feeling that I had when I watched it. And you know Tony snores. This dude talking yeah. to sleep. Hey, man, I'll be snoring like that. I'd be talking. Bro, he, but I ain't never I seen you sleep, I but you snore. I talk. Hold on, so Tony, what if you talked in your sleep like man, that story was boring? That's man. The, if he, <laughs> if he would have let me, me right sleep, now, he gotta get this in under seven. Have, you know, I, he gotta get under seven. He would have thought I was still up if he was just let it ride. I would have been talking back. I'd be like, yeah, man, <laughs> yo, stuff be like this sometimes. <laughs> get your boy some cereal. Yeah, no. man, grab, grab the cheeseburgers out the trunk. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got I got extra plates in the glove compartment. Just grab <laughs> put the pie rolls, put the pie rolls in the in the uh, in the bathroom. Boy, if that Yo, Tony, like like, like some plate people plate. talk and they sleep and they say a couple things like yeah, it was, it was blue, it was, uh, it was blue. Tony would be like, that's not what happened last time. I took the one on one, not the one ten to get. There. Yep, you be like. Ooh. Who are you talking to? He would have a full yep. conversation, not one word, not a sentence, a full conversation. You'd be like, is he is he fucking with me right now? Yo, <laughs> it'd, it'd be hilarious to hear if y'all was sleeping, Kenan in there. Kenan here like, yeah, and then Kenan tried to tell me a story. He know I was tired. I didn't want to hear it. I mean, I was crying, but I also wasn't tired. He is crazy for that one. Anyway. <laughs> Wait. Tony, what, what's your what's your sleeping pattern like? Like like, because I know the Fitbit tell you everything. Do you get like real sleep like that? Uh, I usually get around like six hours. Okay. okay, but but is it like do you get like the deep sleep parts? Like you know, I show you all the stuff. I'll be looking at it. I'll be getting some deep sleep. It don't be a lot of deep sleep though, but. 
Do you wake up feeling rested? Yeah. Mm, congratulations. What is your kids are growing? <laughs> Venetia is so noisy over there. Every move, every I'm not part. doing anything. It's you do everything. It's just you a microphone. Oh, it's, it's, you know what? It's probably she my has, earrings brushing up against the mic. Uh, she got different activities. She's she shuffling cards. Yeah. No, I think it's my earrings are brushing oh, up against the mic. mic. She changed the tire. Because the mic is here. It's not the it's not the earring. It was the origami you was over there doing. <laughs> <laughs> you was over there making one of these little love notes. Do you like me? Yes or no? <laughs> I didn't have a napkin, so I used one, a note card. Two, three, four. <laughs> you gotta pick one and flip it. Oh, okay, red. <laughs> Right, Yo, we used to really think we was doing something with that BT. We was doing it fast, like that made it better. <laughs> we was like, yeah, yeah. All right, now, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now, touch one more. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> what, a, nah, what a waste, man. What a waste of time. Because I couldn't feel, I couldn't build one of those right now if, if my life depended on it. Yo, that was Ooh. serious. When you got the four for your eyes only, and you could pull the thing out, and then it opened up, you was like, "Oh, they changed the game when they threw that in." This has got yeah. a little, this one got a lever on it. Like, All mine have bone thugs and harmony songs, and if you pushed one, I would do one of the bone thugs and harmony songs. And all of mine had a bone thugs, like like yeah, your mom old wish five food stamps. Like it would say some stupid shit. <laughs> I remember yeah. that. Bro, if yeah. you get a good one of them, you'd be like, this this motherfucker makes terrible grades, but he's an engineer in the making. He is great. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Bustle so serious. Bustle so serious about that. Out, uh, the end of the show. So let's go ahead and uh, start wrapping it up, man. Um, you got anything you want to let people know? You want to thank them for hitting your cash app or whatever? This is the time to do it. Let's just go. Uh, Can I roll first? Can I roll first? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tone Bell. My mom is in town. Let me get back to my mom real quick. Hey, my name is Tone Bell. Appreciate it. I'm at Tone Bell. I'll be on uh, Keep Your So, man, what's the, keep, keep Your Distance? Keep Your Distance. I mean, I'll keep your distance tomorrow with everybody <laughs> on here tonight, man. I'm, I'm so excited, but I literally cannot wait to do this i mean like i got we had so much fun she was uh the the sketches and everything and just seeing these man these funny ass people so i appreciate it and uh i'm out uh Mama I Bell, we I, love I, you i i, I got That's a movie right. coming out december 25th called uh sylvie's love so check that out if you ever seen my special on showtime check that out um where's your uh, movie coming out tone it's coming out Christmas Day, uh, probably the Ooh. probably at midnight. It's called Sylvie's Love. It's a it's a 1950s uh, throwback. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, we. I mean, it's COVID. Netflix. Uh, I, it, it'll be on Amazon for sure. Okay. That, that, was, that was the part you was just like. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when I shaved my beard and I did like the hair with the part and everything, so Tessa Tessa Thompson is like the lead in that. Eva Longoria plays my wife. Like she's amazing. Everybody's dope, man. So like if y'all get a chance, put it on your watch list. December twenty fifth. Um, Sylvie's love. Uh, watch my special and then watch us tomorrow night, man. You told me like two days too late. Yeah. But still. I don't know. I don't hear that. This. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out who it is. Southwest and one way was way more than the round trip. Wow. I don't know who sound it is. Anyway, yeah, thank you for uh, uh, right. taking over uh, my uh, movie plug. Wow. However, mine was three hundred. You can mute everybody okay. here and do it one by one. I'm on mute. The so weekend advance. All right, I'm yeah. out. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Kevin, was that you? No. Why would I call it out if it was me? I don't know. Everybody else can unmute themselves right now. Maybe it was Tone's background. Jay, you still muted. Kanisha, you still muted. BT, you still muted. Yeah. I'm back. I'm here. Okay. All right. I'm going to back out a little bit. I don't know who that is. But anyway, let's go Keenan, BT, Jay, uh, Kanisha, and uh, Kevin. Uh, man, yeah. Uh, catch me. Get the, get the Tony Baker and Friends special, man, on Amazon Prime. Gumroad, man. Shout out to Tony Baker, my bro, man. Looked out for me with that. Uh, Keep Your Distance Comedy Show tomorrow. I'm excited. Uh, give a shout out to Troy Thompson, Denzel, LeBaron, Jose Martinez, uh, yeah, man. Thank y'all for uh, shoot me shoot me a little bit of bread. I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow, y'all. Animation podcast. If you're in anime, yeah. There it is.
Uh, BT, what you got for him? Man, uh, first and foremost, uh, to hear, bro, I love you to death, man. I appreciate uh, what you have created, allowing us to share our platform. And uh, just kicking it with my friends makes me extremely happy. Uh, thank you. Uh, Kev, I love you to death, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, I don't, it's, it's, it's major, man. You just gave, you gave, in, in so many words, you gave niggas their dreams back, nigga, to a certain extent. We ain't been able to do the thing that we love the most, so I am going to savor tomorrow because ain't no telling when I'll be back in front of a crowd, in front of people again. So I appreciate you for that. Uh, Kings and crew, y'all know I love y'all 3,000 uh, in the chat. To... Here we go. Kiara Sade, Shabarin, and I got a backcourt world, and Adam and Jose Martinez, Jasmine, Twizzle, and Gavin on a can of Tawana. Appreciate you guys for the cash traps. I think I nailed them all perfectly. <laughs> uh... <laughs> If you're not following the YouTube page, please follow it. If you have not added yourself to the Discord, please uh, do that as well. I'm um, pushing the 10K. We had 80, 88, 88 on the YouTube. So we had 88, 22. We pushing on through. Uh, Trying to hit the 10K before the year's out. Um, other than that, watch Give Me Five if you have not already. Uh, the episodes are fantastic and more Give Me Five on the way. Visit Dracula Jones Party, Halloween night. Uh, we gonna all R and B music, okay. baby making music, slow jams, and I'm gonna do some hip hop at the top. Uh, for um, and those, yeah, donate anything you want. Donate a dollar, donate ten thousand dollars. Either way, you are gonna get the same virtual Halloween party. So other than that, uh, I love y'all, man. Join the Discord, man, and download Tuskegee if you haven't. Mm. All right, uh, who we got next? Uh, all right, Jay, let's go, let's go, Jay, Kanisha, Tony, Kim. Okay. Uh, first of all, I don't know how I'm going to follow all of that. I don't have quite that much shit to promote. Uh, so I'm going to just like stumble around for a few minutes to make my time go as just as long as <laughs> BT's and everybody else's time did as I find things to promote like off the top of my head. First of all, on my YouTube page, which is located at J Phillips Live, if you backslash that with the YouTube, like they do the things that they do that would take you over to my page where you will find the programming that I have started to produce, uh, which on Monday nights, I do my Mind of the Quiet Dude 2.0 podcast. I live stream that directly there before it goes off onto your favorite platforms. And then as well, what you think is a show that I do that is quite incredible that I would invite everybody here once again to come do. Uh, Tahir has done it twice. Uh, I put an inbox for Tony Baker, no response yet. BT coming and hopefully everybody else uh, on here would be loving to come do my What You Think coming up soon. And Which inbox, tomorrow man? we're gonna be, I inboxed you. I should have texted you, I know. You you got a billion followers. Please, please in your DM. Me, I'm just gonna just, just call. You know, I could have called you, TB. I'm not calling you out. I love you, bro. You know what it is. I just hope that you do the show one day because it's quite fun, and I would love your goddamn comedy on there. So, with that being said, uh, I will see y'all tomorrow on the Keep Your Distance Comedy Show. Kev, I appreciate you letting a brother come on there and rock. Right. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate. Right. It. Uh, let's go, Kanisha, then Tony, then Kev. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta unmute yourself. Uh, first, can I, I can't do it. Oh, right. shit. okay. Look, I thought you had me on mute. Hi again. I'm so excited to be on Keep Your Distance Comedy. Thank you again, Kev. We are definitely gonna have a blast. Um, I will be doing all my mom jokes, so I'm excited about that because I've transitioned, you know, from popping bottles to making bottles. So this will be fun for everybody. It'll be a lot cleaner than what you're used to. Um, actually, very clean. <laughs> um, I have a new show on TheBeastRadio.com every Saturday, two peas in a podcast. So make sure you guys come through. Uh, follow me on YouTube. And I have a momish page on my parents, M-O-M underscore I-S-H underscore, or you can find me at Kanisha Bestest Comedy. Also, I definitely want to give a shout out to Nova Morgan, Latisha Kier, Troy, Hank, LeBron, Jessica, Talisha, Juan, Brian, Christopher. Let me tell you guys something. And everybody from the last podcast, because um, when I was on Zooming with the homies, Remember I told you guys I had to get a bridge? I used y'all's money to get a bridge. So let's work on this one down here. Yeah, your show helps me get my teeth fixed. And for all those who don't know, I got rid of my little baby teeth. And now I have real front teeth. Oh, shit. So zooming with the homies, y'all put in on that. So everybody go ahead and wow. drop five so we can get these <laughs> teeth in order. Because I got a movie to film and I need these pearly whites going. But thank you guys for having me. 
And uh, remember to take a drink and relax during COVID. Tony uh, Baker, what you got for him? Oh, I got, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing Keep Your Distance Comedy tomorrow. Pull up for that. Use the Tony promo code for your discount. You know what I'm saying? Honey, child, these biscuits. Um, <laughs> also, uh, I got the Skibbity Pap hoodies on sale now. Order it now. It's on sale through Monday. So get it now. It might be a little surprise sale tomorrow kicking off for the weekend. So uh, we'll see about that there. Uh, don't forget to get Tony Baker and friends, like Keenan said earlier. You got Keenan Baker on there, Keon Poli, DC Irvin, and Brandon Lewis on that thing, and I think y'all will enjoy it. Um, don't forget to check out Daddy Issues podcast. Um, follow me on Twitch. I want to give a shout out to the people that cash app your boy, Kiara Sade, Troy Thompson, Shereen Youngblood, Latasha Pritchard. Brian Dixon, Jose Martinez, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Get that skibbity pap hoodie tonight. I'll put the link right here in this joint right here. You can get it right now. You feel me? You hear me? You hear me? You feel me? Yeah. Where do y'all see? Kev on stage. I'm almost this. done. Uh, yeah, I just want to shout out everybody for supporting the show. Want to shout out Tony Baker. There was a time I was telling him my, you know, how my father left me and he he <laughs> fell asleep in the middle of my story, man. It just really prompted me to just go ahead and reconnect yeah. with my father after that. Yeah. So uh, I want to thank Tony for that, man. He, he pushed me out of there. <laughs> but nah, man, make sure you uh, 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 use Tahir's code MOBSTER uh, if you want to support him personally for the um, Keep Your Distance show. And just come out, man. Enjoy these new comedians. Everybody who's on the show is fire. You know what I'm saying? We, we booking only fire comedians so come out and watch everybody rock man a lot of different styles man come have a good time and watch us live or on the replay either way thank you so much to here for this for this amazing platform i'm proud of you well thank you it. brother i appreciate all y'all coming on thank you to the rewatch mm -hmm. game thank you to the entire more mob uh big shout out to popcorn world and rated intimate as well shout out to my more mods always holding it down stephen ocon hippie goes uh, Jennifer Rivas, definitely appreciate it. I said something earlier about the uh, price going up on the tickets tomorrow. Actually, they don't go up. I read that, that comment wrong uh, okay. from somebody from the stage crew, but I apologize about that. But you still should act tonight uh, and go ahead and get that 48-hour review link so you can watch it all weekend long. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to Kiera LeBaron, Troy, Alice Marie, Shireen, Adam, J-Mo, Jessica Wright, Brother in Blue, uh, taking the stage, and Jose, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for the donations. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, most likely, at uh, Best Silent Listening Party. We're going to try to find something short, man, something like five tracks so we can get in and out, um, if we're able to make it. I don't know what everybody's schedule looks like, but if not, then I'll see you guys on Monday on another episode of Zoom with the homies. You guys